in the team tournament, the Ultimate Schmodown Team Tournament 2018. The theme is anarchy. 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 Wednesday and it is Collider Live. We are back here every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 10 at 12 p.m. PST. It's Collider Live. Talking about everything going on in the world. <laughs> Just everything. Literally. Like if you saw yesterday, we went into some deep conversations. Sure did. Farts. Deep farts. So joining us today, she wasn't here for the intellectual conversation that was flatulence, but it is Roxy Stryer. Hello, Roxy. Who has not farted since 2002? Is that you? Liar. No, seriously, I like can't You're do it. Get I, out of here. No, okay. You would, have, you would have passed out. You would, you would not be, be with dead. us anymore. You guys don't understand. The seriously, gas, the this has been a carbon monoxide buildup in your body. <laughs> I'm in so much pain all the time. I'm shocked that you don't know this because I talk about this all of the time. Mm. I go like seven to twelve days frequently without pooping. I have to go to the hospital and get enemas all the freaking time. Jeez. Like, I can't fart. Nothing comes out. They say it's Even anxiety hit... driven. It's like an actual issue. Well, Beardo has something to say to you. Beardo, can you say that again, please? Does, it, mm. does that help? I, I think that that might get me on the right track. Okay, good. Yeah. There you go. So nice nice to see everybody. I was telling my wife, I actually watched the, the show last night and we were watching that. And she's like, Did you tell them, uh, what does she call them? The hostile farts? <laughs> and, I, and, and I go, what's, I, what's the hostile farts? Wow. She said, if, She's like, I don't know how. But if I'm re if we get into an argument, you don't like to deal with the argument, you'll just fart and leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's just like it, and and it, and it works. Oh. <laughs> it's like, but no, 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 they're more like firecrackers. It's not like smelly ones. It's just like, yeah. but anyway, I don't want to do this. We did this yesterday. <laughs> no more fart talk today. Why? Can we just talk about talk. Paul Flart more? One real quick. That Instagram account is very funny. Yeah, oh. I don't know if we can bring that up, but it was like the yeah. Someone sent because. Riley, did you get any? Did anybody send you any fart videos yesterday? Yeah, time? everybody sent me fart videos. <laughs> everybody, everybody's like, "Hey, Riley, did you see this one?" I'm like, "Yeah, I saw the fart video. Thank yeah. you, thank you." you and know, it tagged me a hundred times. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize how disgusting uh. it was, but just as Beardo played that drop, I was drinking, and there's something about drinking while a wet fart sound is playing. You know playing. that every time it's you sip now, he's gonna play a fart. Uh, well, well, <laughs> it's like it, I just like drank the fart. Let me see. Let me see if it works. Well. Take a sip. Take a sip. Oh God. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys try it. It's oh, so gross. Is go. that true uh, that your friend puked after that analogy yeah. thing? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so if my you... buddy actually texted me about it yesterday because he listened. <laughs> yeah. He's been listening to the show. Anytime I like post something, you know, random friends will just follow links. I love it great. though. My buddy Louis Louis Forgione, who was a guy that I went to St. Roberts with yeah. after the whole St. Roberts thing with nice. me, he he's now like is an avid listener. Love he's like, it. it's a great show. He's yeah. like, I was like, great. I love that we can get some old school people. Listening. And he texted me. He was like, dude, that was one of the funniest days in the history of college. I said, I know. Oh, it was yeah. amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, Roxy, I enjoy watching you take sips of drinks now just for the laugh. I'm now not going to ever drink again. You know, you I got kicked out of a family vacation hotel room uh, because I farted I, so bad no, in the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Okay, tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> like so, I, was, I, was trying, I was trying, I was trying to move along, but I'm like, you know what? Go ahead. You just gotta go with it. When no, it's, go the with farts it. are hot. Yeah, so, then I'm gonna talk about uh, fake English. Yeah. yeah. So the, uh, the the Makuga family goes on a Great West vacation. We fly to Sedona, uh, then we went to uh, Grand Canyon, then we went to Las Vegas, and then up to up to Oregon, and we made a family stop in the in the Grand Canyon. For those who've been to the Grand Canyon, you know there's only like three hotels, and they're all basically just like kind of crappy lots. Lodges, basically. Nice pun. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well done. Mm. Yeah. And uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Josh Makuga had some of the stinkiest farts going that yeah. day, and my dad had finally had enough, and he was like, "Sleep in the hallway. <laughs> Sleep in the hallway." <laughs> so that's a, like, sound, that's a that's a sound bite. Yeah. I'm gonna do that to somebody every time they're saying something stupid. Now they sleep in the hallway. Uh, Beardo, so, please capture that. Yeah. So. So my, my mom was like, he doesn't have to sleep in the hallway. My dad goes, no, he's sleeping in the hallway. It's amazing. So, I can't even, after meeting your dad, I can't even imagine him screaming. He, he got mad 
had like once every few months. The farts will do Did you go in the hallway? I had slept in the hallway. I just <laughs> sat outside there with a pillow Let and slept in front of the Speaking door. Speaking of not sleeping in room, right now my youngest daughter, she doesn't sleep in that wall, right? She's okay. waking up every like two or three hours still. It's been it's been tough, yeah. especially on a work night, right? Yeah. I would marry my couch. <laughs> I love that fucking couch. Oh, I got to tell change, you. It's a game changer. Good it couch embr- changes everything. It embraces me in slumber. <laughs> I can lay on that couch because when I'm laying in my bed, you know, the baby the baby can, I mean, going to be a singer, yeah. can hit the high note. <laughs> and it'll just, it, it, it gets you. Like, yeah. it, it, you, it rattles your, your bones. And she does, every day I you know, in the morning, she, and you've seen pictures of my, mm-hmm. she's a smiley baby. At night, she is just like, Fuck off! Get me <laughs> my mother. Like she does wants nothing to do with me. Uh, no. Rattling around, and, and my wife's like, and like last night, she's like, "Give it a shot. Try to try to come around." I'm like, "Are we doing this again?" <laughs> I'm like, "She does not want me." And it's I, and I'm holding her, and she's like, ah, like moving around, and I'm like, "I've proven my point here." <laughs> and the couch is like, "Come on, come on." <laughs> couch waves me over, and I was just, I love that couch. Yeah. What do you so, got? It's just a big fluffy white couch, and it's my best friend in the whole wide world. Wow, um, white's a little dangerous with kids. Very, but I living on the edge. Yeah, look, it wasn't my decision, but I, I now ha- it's like when you get into a relationship with somebody and you they have, and you got the white but couch. they have a dog, mm. and it's not your dog, but then you fall in love with the dog. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much my couch. It looks like that. There you go. I love that couch. I want to name that couch. I. Um, uh, uh, my wife is making me sell my current couch, which uh, has been with me oh. since I moved to Los Angeles. Oh, then I would definitely want to get rid of that yeah, couch. That's it's, a comfy couch, it's, though. It's one of the greatest couches, if not the greatest couches of all time. The problem is it's a little deep, and people don't know how to sit in it. You're right. Well, it's, also, it's, I can't even imagine. Yeah, it's couch. not. Yeah, it, yeah. But so I'm putting it up on Craigslist. Uh, I'm gonna. I was gonna put it up for ten thousand dollars, so it wouldn't sell. Uh, but I'm gonna put it up on Craigslist and just yeah. write out, you know, like this couch is my best friend. My wife is making me sell it because we went to living spaces. If you ever go to living spaces, it's one yeah. of the greatest days you can ever have. Bring a couple drinks. They let you drink in there. I yeah. brought and beers, and uh, you go and you sit on every couch possible. Did mm-hmm. you know that they were gonna let you in with them, or were you like just no, taking the risk? It's fine. I was like, listen, if I'm gonna be drinking beer on a couch, I want to know like how it how comes it feels to drink a beer on a couch. Correct. Right. And as, you know what? And then, and then when you tell the salesman that at first, he goes, makes sense. Right. Yeah. Have you tried and that at Ikea? No. <laughs> I will not go back into that Swedish hellhole. Yeah, Ikea. Yeah. No. I, look, I can't build things. No. I never pretended that I could. I am not I am not a handyman. That's why I'm uh, one of the many reasons that I love Brett Sheridan. Yeah. Right? Um, He's a hell of a handyman. Give him a lot of, like, he'll, he'll, come, he'll come by. And, I like, again, one of the reasons I love getting movie codes, because I know that if I have something, I have four movie codes, that means that it's at least one Ikea thing that Brett can put together for me. Right? <laughs> I love Ikea. Is, is he hungover today? Um, Brett is not. No, he. I knew he wasn't going to be here today. So Brett won't be on the show today. But, um, but anyway, point is, um, when I first moved to L.A., the Ikea thing. Oh, like, oh, yeah. It's easy. I have never been more violent with mm-hmm. anything in my life. I hated this thing. Yeah. I wanted to physically fight this bullshit. I will help you. I'm it's an, the worst. I'm an it's excellent the worst builder. Furniture. Really? And I'm really good with Ikea. Like and I don't Where's understand. That you can't poop, but you can build. Pretty yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I, like I didn't know there shirt. was a correlation between. <laughs> you think that will help me get uh, dudes? It's just I can't. A, it, I can't it, shit, but I sure as hell can build. It's, a, it's just a. Th- it's a thumb. It's like yeah, it won't be emasculating at all. It's like it's a. <laughs> it's, it's like a thumb. It's like a, can't shit, but I can build. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like building a big Lego. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Like growing up, my dad was just so not like that. He was like a "we'll hire somebody to do it" kind of dad, yeah. and I was like, "This is so stupid. I'll just do it myself." And you did it yourself, so you weren't taught. No. See, that's the thing. I come from my my grandfather and my great grandfather were like master mm-hmm. carpenters, mm-hmm. like master mine too. Italians builders. I mean, they could. And it just well, didn't no, no, work? My, my oh. Germans. Oh, the Germans. The Germans. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The oh, Germans yeah. can can make some shit. I found out a lot about when I was back home. You know. Um, this past month, my I learned I was hanging out with my dad and my uncles a lot, and I heard more stories about my family. And apparently, my great grandfather was like this big, giant German dude, <laughs> and I, he like just like a massive yeah. dude, like and like strict German dude. And um, the Kaiser, yeah. You know, well, he well they they moved they they moved my grandfather's stuff over here because they didn't like what the regime and everything. They're, right. they're out, um, and this is during like World War One, the first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. They, they want they wanted out and they moved to the states, but um. But anyway, yeah, like I just found out. I was like, "Where did that go?" Because my 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 uncle got it. Yeah. My uncle's like an electrician, and like like my my. What's the best is that it's like he's he's the guy he could figure he'll MacGyver some stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But he'll also but whatever he fixes, you know, it might 
go out in a month. Yeah, it's but, makeshift. But it'll for work. Sure. It'll work. Like the thing is too. Like um, when because my dad's air conditioner went out when we were there, and my uncle was like, "It's going to cost you like." 600 bucks it's like it goes 30 bucks fixed i don't know what it's like today um <laughs> but it worked while i was there it was there working it was then. there but i was just like my, my dad can is somewhat handy sure. my other uncle somewhat i got nothing so is sadie mm. in your house with like a carpenter like she's got the full toolbox out no 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 we, I, we do what what roxy's dad did it was like again i i I'll hire have somebody hire, i'm not because i'm not going to be that stubborn asshole that says i'll do it right because if i put together my kids cribs they'd be sleeping on my couch with me <laughs> you know so it's, it's so i so i have i have friends I have friends. Yeah. I will see. I grew up in a you know Italian construction family, so my my great uncle owned a cur- like a lot of the curbs in Pittsburgh were all put in. You'll see like a little OG Orlando Galtieri was his name. Yeah, uh, a great un- name. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, he put in a lot of the curbs in Pittsburgh. My grandfather and my uncle, my great uncle, also built Three River Stadium. They yeah. helped build PNC Park. I mean, but you didn't was, get it. You didn't get the G. No, I did. Oh, I worked did construction oh, for okay. for three four years. My brother did not get anything okay. like He's that. He got the video game. Yeah, he yeah. got the video game. Yeah, G. but I built. Most recently, I built a dresser for my wife. It took me five hours of a night, and then I woke up in the morning before she came home for three hours. So eight total hours. It was a 187-page wow. IKEA But thing. you were, like, locked in? Lo- I was See, just locked that, in. That's the thing. That's what grilling does for me. Okay. Like, for a, that's what I that's what I love to grill, because I can sit out there for people. Like, oh, don't, don't do that. We'll just, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll eat out, or we'll do this, or I'll take over that's your happy place. It's therapeutic for me. Yeah. Every Sunday, I'm out there grilling, listening to podcasts. Mm-hmm. I love it, and I and I take like a, and I, I bought a grill for the office. And I've been. What's funny is people are like, "You're never going to use it." How often do I use that? Oh, grill? it's all the time. Yeah. You use it almost every day. Yes. There is mm-hmm. nothing worse than when you're manning a grill and somebody else tries to start doing uh, it, and right. you're just like, I, ah. "I like the timing, and I have everything." It, yeah, and sometimes like, it's a nice gesture. Like, so we're going to talk offering, about offering, yeah, but like, no, no, I've got. Anytime right. I'm manning a grill, the biggest dude away. there comes over and is right. like, "I got this," and I'm like, "Get no, lost." I fuck <laughs> Have it. Right, right, right. I have Get been out. doing it. I've done everything. You want the credit in the last mile, but I marinated everything. I put everything on the fucking grill. I've timed it all out. Get away from my grill. You know what you need? You rock, you need Roxy. S- that's cool. What, you take it on that? the grill. Yeah. That's that's impressive. Cookie's been trying to say something. No, no, last no, no, no. First of all, <laughs> badass. Yeah. And I would yeah. never. I, you don't. T- I wouldn't t- take anything away from Roxy. Roxy can't yeah. shit, to man but she can grill. Right. Fuck off. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you need a smoker. You need something that you can put like My a mom's pork. a smoker, and I, I'm trying to get her to quit. <laughs> you you put a pork shoulder on there. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even going to acknowledge well it. Well well done. Done. <laughs> Do you have a smoker? No, but my buddy has a smoker, and we did uh, yeah. brisket over Memorial Day. It's delicious. Twelve my hours buddy, just sitting there yeah. drinking, really? watching the smoker go. I need that. Just my buddy Rob is a uh, he, he has a smoker, and he's also he's like dude makes his own pizzas, like oh. gourmet pizzas. He like and he's, that's how he, he'll he'll say like, hey, I'm gonna come over. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have you guys over and make pizza. He's, he's like duck bacon and stuff oh, there, and you're like, man. wow. Like, it's dude. He, I tell him he, all the time. He's a very, he's a very successful business dude. But I'm like, you need to open up your own gourmet pizza yeah. place. Because they're like, he puts like California Pizza Kitchen. Oh, shame it should be me. like a, on your friendship applications. Do you make my own pizzas? Yeah, yeah because it, like, what are you bringing to the table? Like, right. one of the biggest reasons I'm friends with Adam Gertler is he's always bringing me sausage, and, 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 and it makes sausage like a mother. Mother, yeah. and it's unbelievable. He'll be like, "What do you think of this surf and turf sausage? It's fillet and lobster." I'm like. Friendship, right? Like yeah. that's right. what you're bringing to the yeah, table, yeah, yeah. you psychopath. Well, all the time. Yeah. I had an idea for an app. This was, you know, a few years back, whatever. That because my brother had just moved to a new city and he didn't have any friends. Right. Okay. So I thought, why not have the dude date app, right? And you like, like uh, what's that one with Jason Siegel and Paul Rudd? Um, I love you, man. I lo- what, correct. Yeah, 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 where he yeah, yeah. goes and like, he has to meet a guy friend, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you put, you know, but the, my brother's like, I think that Grinder might call it, like, that might be a straight up competition. But you go to a city, you put like the things you like. I like football. I like Penn State. I like, you know, Steeler yeah. football. I like sausages. I like homemade pizzas. You put it and then you somehow match and it's just like two straight dudes that are married that dudes, just want to hang out. Do you think dudes, dudes would do that though? Matter? I think it's a great, I think in, in theory Principle. it's a great idea, yeah. right? But I, I think dudes are too proud to do it. 100%. Mike, what? Christian? Mike? Yeah, hey, good to meet that's you. What, but that's what you, and guys if it doesn't like, go well. A lot of guys don't have what? your type of personality, though, because you would say, I'll give it a shot. I'll go meet somebody. There's a lot of people that I don't think would do that. <laughs> Why did you name him Christian and yourself Mike? I don't know. He I was is like, Christian. <laughs> I, was, I, I was given a fake situation. Did you always want to be Mike? Is, Mike? is that a name? Dave, Mike, Mike. Do you Mike, know Dave. what your name was? It was were you always supposed to be Josh? Because I was uh, supposed to be Matthew. Ooh. My name is I can see you as a Matthew, Matthew, actually. So yeah. my brother was supposed to be 
Luke and I were my brother supposed to be John and I was supposed to be Luke. I had Luke. I was supposed to be Luke. I was Matthew. Really? Very yeah. religious. No, yeah, I can't see yeah. you as a Luke. No, yeah. no. No, my yeah. mom told me uh, it was between Mark and Luke, and then I, when Luke I was Skywalker such a fan, I was yeah. Matthew. I wanted to be Luke. Luke. Matthew. Yeah, I was Matthew. Yeah, I was Matthew Christian's or Luke. Too, no, You're no Luke. I, I'm the, I no. was. How dare you? If Neither I was, are you. So here was my deal. If I was a boy, I was supposed to be Rock. Oh, cool. And if I was a girl, I was supposed to be Xanadu. Huh? And <laughs> <laughs> but I can see that you have a Xanadu like personality. You wait, do. wait, and wait, Zanny, wait, Zanny, you gotta, wait, Zanny's trying to tell a story. And yes. Thank God. Old Zanny bars over here. Thank Come on, God Zanny. for well, which is bad because I took so much Xanax growing oh, up, oh, and sure. like that would have so just been miserable. It. Or like you either go Zanny, There's Zanny living up to her <laughs> yeah. name again, hundred <laughs> percent. And like either I would have called Zanny or Doodoo, and like yeah. neither. Right. So they're fans of the Olivia Newton John movie. I yeah, take it. Uh, Zanny yes, D. But then, thank goodness, this is why I love Sting so much. He came to my mom in her dreams, and he sang oh. Roxanne, and she woke up, like, literally the day before I was born. and was Get like, out of here. Is this before he released going, the track? Uh, <laughs> no, no. We're going. <laughs> It's mean. No, uh, no. I'm saying it's not mean. I'm saying before he released it. I mean, can you imagine? Oh, she was like, be, she was like a prophet. Like he was like be, singing the song. She's like, wait a minute, that's the exact song he sang to me, <laughs> and how I came up with the name. Yeah, she actually uh, messaged it to him. She mailed it to him. These are the lyrics, and that's how he got this song. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that's uh, it. And so Roxanne wow. is what it was. So I was named after a prostitute, which is so much better than being named Xanadu, which right. I will take any day. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I don't know how you'd survive as Xanadu. No. Like especially Zanny with my D. personality, yeah. if you're yeah. you're fine if you're like a, a different Xanadu, but like I'm a wild child. You but have to live on a commune. The question, yeah. <laughs> the question is though, too, does your does your personality shift with experiences through your name? I think so. Yeah, I think it does too. I think. Weird thing a, is, is like rarely do people call me Josh. Yeah. It's always your last yeah, name. It's always right? Makuga. You're yeah. not really a Josh, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Why? Like when I think Josh, I think Josh Dumel. Like he, oh, he looks like nice. a Josh. Well, I don't think you look like a Josh. I think you look like a Makuga. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. Well, there you go. I get. I mean, because we. I had this conversation. My wife. I do not allow, allow her to call me Chris. Uh, like, Chris? no, you're not a Chris. Uh, but yeah. my family. Did she try? Me. A lot of people do. Um, really? And, yeah, and I shut it down. And like, uh, where I was calling you K nuts for a while, but K Kni K Nizzy K Nizzy K Nizzy. <laughs> um, but I um I was um. Because my my dad does my mom my both my 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 brother my late brother would both they would call me Chris. Chris although my late brother would call me Christian more so okay. because he knew that that's what I like to be called yeah. and it wasn't that my my family was just so used to it right. and I don't know what it was I just it just seemed it just never fit me I always had a problem with people calling me Makuga that didn't know me right hmm. you know like. You don't know me. Right. Don't call me Makuga. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. What, how about when people introduce you? Like if I'm like, this is my friend Makuga. You think that's weird? I should say, this is my friend Josh. Well, I would always, I would I would never introduce myself as Makuga, right? I would right. be like, hey, Makuga. Right. Right. I, if you said, hey, this is my friend Makuga, I'd be like, hey, Josh, Josh Makuga, whatever. Sent, well, that's, would, well, that's huh. why I get the frustration. If, again, I listen to, it's funny, because when I told Beardo that I listen to Wang, he's like, wait, how, wait you listen to the show? And, and, <laughs> he's like, and, oh, we did this whole like, Arnold thing. Well, they, they do. They take, they, yeah. they, they, take, they take fun little shots. It's a cute show. <laughs> Um, Ooh, but, uh, no, no, I, 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 like, I, I do like the show. The, the Wangers is awesome, man. It I is. love it. I do like the show. But what I'm saying is that um, they were talking about because Beardo was like, "Well, well, you know, Schmoes is dead, so I don't even know if I have Schmoes Beardo as my my Twitter <laughs> handle anymore. Uh, I gotta, you know, I gotta change it up because Schmo. I mean, what do I do? That's my brand. I mean, you know, I gotta I, you know, I, my Beardo, my Beardo. Who am I? Um, He's very <laughs> worried for his brand. Yeah. So I understand. Um, but but I also understood Copster though because Copster's name is Christian. Christian, and you know that name was taken when he came to. Schmoes, and so it's like, and, and when you're coming in as an intern, and someone's, it's, well, my nickname was Copster. He had his thing as Copster, right. and now oh, you know he already was Copster before you deemed him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you yeah. No, 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 no. He got that. He got that through baseball when he was playing baseball. Oh, and Kabi, yeah. you know, Rubikaba, and so, see, I yeah. listen. Oh. I listen, I listen to listens. the show. Yeah, I listen. And and so you know that I can understand. I think that. He's got more of a beat. He's got more of a say about wanting people to either call him either Christian or, you know, not want to be called Coster anymore as he's getting to the mid. Then Beardo, is, Beardo hasn't earned a name yet. No, he hasn't. No, no. it's not so much. I don't want to be called that. I just I'm not going to introduce myself as a nickname. Right. Yeah. I get it. It's it, it's more as like, I'm like my, my name's Coster. But like, what are you saying? <laughs> right. What? This is my producer Comster. Yeah. Right. I know. I know. And Coster uh, has done a couple things uh, for my my. Um, 
brother-in-law's gym. He shot a couple videos and stuff for it. And when I introduce him to all the family and everybody around, like, this is Christian. He'll be directing and shooting everything today. And then I'll be like, Copster! Right. Like, who's that? Like, who's that? Right. Uh, so I love his nickname, Copster. But, you know, I mean, it, people call him Christian. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I've ever called him that. Yeah. I don't think no, so. I yeah. I can't I'm with you, though. I, don't, I didn't like being called Chris. My ex's dad called me Chris all the time. It's, it drove me insane. Well, yeah, she's it's your not, ex. It's just, I don't know what it is. That's true. Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's just it's something about... It, it's, it's, just not, it's just not my name. Yeah. It's just not my name. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. um, we've got some other stuff to talk about here today. We're going to be talking about some movie news and got some funny videos and stuff that we're going to talk about. That's been a lot of fun. I want to make sure that you guys are hashtagging Collider Live. And we are going to be announcing our winner today on... Our Three winners for Avengers Infinity War. It's finally War. here. It is here. So basically, I think that what's going to happen is um, Copster and Riley will go through those comments, and three people will be chosen today. They will contact you guys on our three winners. You still have about two hours left. If you want to get involved, go on over to the Apple Podcast feed for Collider Live. Subscribe. Write a review. And you're going to pick out the comments you're getting, and three winners will be chosen today for Avengers Infinity War. Do we think Brett made his comment yet, or no? Brett? Yeah. Uh, I, think I know he wants it. Yeah, I know he wants one. I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure. He, he is, that's, we got, we got to figure, Brett's got to. Why are you so concerned looking about it? I was thinking about Avengers Infinity War, and I got it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to talk, we were talking, oh, that's, movie. well, that's the other thing Good we're going to be talking about today, because that's the one I want the fans <laughs> to get involved with. Hashtag Collider Live. Oh, sorry. Hashtag Good Collider one. Live. And it smelled like uh, orange pomegranate liqueur. No, it's no. more like bagels, and I got to beef with the bagels in a second. Uh, no. oh, um, I got to beef with the bagels. What happened, Riley? Huh? No, nothing. Oh, you just want to hear the beef with the bagels? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's what we should call it. We should call it uh, Summer Movies and Beef with the Bagels. Beef, beef with the bagels. bagels. <laughs> What's wrong, Roxy? What happened? I just was making a weird face. I remember that somebody caught Makuga and I, me smelling, I smelling my arm. It's, like, it's a <laughs> gift oh, It's now. a good gift. Yeah. Yeah, but it disappeared. I've been trying to use it. I really? can't find it. It was fucking amazing, though. Oh. I always do that. I think I smell so bad all out. the time. Sniffing it out. Yeah, that was yeah. amazing. Sorry. I'm going to be honest. I'm, and it, I have a th I like the smell of, of armpits. It's because <laughs> Of it, your it, own or no, in bad, general? Like stinky armpits? I, yeah, I don't mind it. It's because it smells like Wendy's. It, a Wendy, little bit. Wendy's no, it's like like Subway. Wendy smells like body I always say it's Subway. No, the Wendy onions the person smell that like works the yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Wendy's. You uh, yeah. sicko. <laughs> oh, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh, great. No. Well done. Timing. Okay. Um, anyway, so <laughs> we're going to... Now, what the hell we were talking about before we said we want to get to that? Because oh, the movies. The movies. We're going to be... So Jared Haven is going to be joining us. Uh, we're going to be talking about our favorite summer movies. So I would like you guys out there... Hashtag Cloud Alive. What are some of your favorite summer movies? And we're going to read some of those out a little later, and we'll talk about them. With of you. all like time to... no, or no, no, this, this summer? summer. This, you, just you, this is summer. the third time you're asking well, me this. I, I have the like, same answer for the okay, other Okay, but here's the thing. I knew this time, but I was yeah. trying to set it up for the people. Okay. Well, At I'm home, so right. the people well, knew. Okay, fine. 2018. <laughs> Good work, Roxy. This, Thank you. this year, the, the year of our Lord, 2018, make sure that you guys go ahead and hashtag. Let's talk about some of your favorite summer movies. We will do that. We'll get into a pretty nice conversation in a little bit. And I have something very important I want to ask Jared Haben about summer movies in, in one respect, but also in a full circle thing that we have never talked about. Here. Okay. All right. Ooh, well, hold that. Tease. Hold that. Yeah. Um, because he'll be in at the, at the 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Now, I like... Jack English, Jack Hind. I like him. I think oh, he's a, I oh think, Jack Yings. Here we go. I like Jack Yings. I think he's a good kid. I think he's one of the smartest um, people that I've met so far in this space. And I think. Uh, and we, he and I. No. Wow. Well, I think he's a smart. You should, no, you just met a lot of people. I, I I think he's he's just you can tell when someone's got a lot of potential. Yeah, and he's, and I he, agree. The way that he carries himself and that he's. He, he likes the same stuff we do too, which is the best. He's a good. He, I've known him for a bit. He's a good dude. Um, and he's a hustler. And he'll he'll get he gets shit done. And uh, another thing, when I when we were going to the supermarket like two weeks ago, he's like, I'm gonna go. He's like, I'll be your sous chef. So he goes and he wants to help. He's he also encouraging the grill usage, mm. which I like. Bangers and mash. Mm. Jackie English got him a shit list twice this morning. Oh no, um, because we. But you're the, not the one doing not the shit the list eggs, now, though. though. We decided no, it's my shit. No, oh. we gave Frank's. It's gonna be Frank's yeah. shit list. Yeah, but this wait, is your shit this list. is my overall shit list this morning. I love a Christmas shit list. We should get list. a pumpkin for him to pull his shit list out of. We should. Um, it's, it's but coming Frank around. moved offices, by the way. <gasps> he moved. He's 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 two over. They they got him out of Dodge because of the I th he, they he couldn't take it. It's not just here. It's I think it's the wrestling podcast. It's joking on bananas. Okay. We'll talk to him about it. Well, now I can yell during TV talk. <laughs> uh, yes, you can. So anyway, so this morning, because Dorian did try to watch uh, Braveheart last night. So mm. he's, and Try to? 
Yeah, he watched seventy five percent of it. Is what he told me, and he said that. Huh. And look, but I liked Dorian's approach when I asked him this. I said he said he said, look, I like the action. I couldn't get into the rest of it, and that's fine. He thought, and then and then Jack goes. That's because it's garbage, or whatever he said, right? And I said, wait a minute, I know why you don't, it's because the Scottish beat up the English in that movie. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, you don't like it because the English are getting, they, they lose a lot of the fights. It's like, if, you, if I have to watch movies about the Red Sox beating the Yankees, I'm not going to yeah. be a fan of that movie. Mm-hmm. So I understand why he doesn't like it. So I'm like, okay. So I was like, and he kept so going you hate Fever it. Pitch. Well, no, I don't like Fever Pitch. Mm-hmm. And so now he's really? no longer Jackie English. He's no longer Jack. He's now Longshanks. Longshanks. He's going to be Longshanks from now on. Oh, but. Sh- then, Long then I'm I'm up and I'm getting uh, and I'm and I'm getting myself uh, making some eggs. That's what yeah. I do before I start the show. Um, and I uh, not the eggs aren't over there. I just uh, pointing that with the kitchen. Um, <laughs> I don't know why it fooled me. It's a graphic should, of we eggs we should, on we the should, TV. We should put just an egg. Here eggs. We put an egg on Jason Smelling's forehead. <laughs> so um, we then um, I'm, I'm making the food there, and then they leave. There's so when someone leaves bagels or cookies on that big table. Normally, you eat them. up for grabs. You go for it, yeah, because that's the rule. And unless it says, "Hey, Wendy, Wendy's great at this." If we're having guests in studio, don't what, touch. Wendy puts in, "This is for our guests coming in." Back off, so you back off. Otherwise, you're going to be in Wendy's shit list, and you do not want that. Doesn't matter about Frank's shit list or mine. Yeah, when Wendy's, Wendy's, it. When when Wendy's pissed off of you, get oh, yeah. the fuck out of the office. Come back for a three hour break. Yeah. Um, but so anyway, so I see bagels. I'm not even eating bagels right now. I see a cookie. I go after the cookie. I take a little bite of the cookie. <laughs> so, I think his name's Alex. No, Alex the <laughs> Alex the PA um, uh, comes in. Great, and he, and he goes, "Hey, you went after my cookie." I go, "It's on the table, man." Are you talking about Marzonia? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was kidding. Marzonia. Um, yeah, uh, and Alex and he and he and Alex shuffle, grabs grabs the cookie and hightails it out. Bagels are still there, so I'm like, "All right, we'll try one of these bagels now." Cut the bagel. We're in a rush here because sure. it took me an hour and twenty minutes to get to this fucking dump today. Could have burned it here quicker. <laughs> not not this dump, the Burbank. Um, and and I and I'm hour and fifteen <laughs> hour and fifteen minutes. I'm on the road. Not this particular not dump. dump not, just not, where the dump is. Collider's not the dump. Burbank to me. No offense to <laughs> Full the, the farts, traffic. Yeah. The tra- traffic. The, 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 it was it was awful. One fifteen, driving here, and so I'm, I'm going to try a piece of the bagel. Cut it up. Put it in. Put a little cream cheese on it. So fucking Longshanks comes in. He goes, that for all the guests. I'm like, what guests? Who do we guests. have guests? He's got people coming in. I go, well, did you put a sign? He's like, no, but clean up after yourself. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I have two seconds with a couple of sesame seeds hit the table. Give me a fucking break. And then I, I don't know. So I was like, so he made a big stink about the bagels. And now you know, the problem with bagels, the problem is, is bagels, full of bagels. <laughs> <laughs> Very good brain part reference, um, but anyway, so um, it, it's just it was it was funny because that's the first thing he says right before about to go on air. He's, he's complaining about the bagels, and I'll be honest, I wanted to run out there, eat the bagel like Oscar the Grouch, and then you know say like, now explain nom, that nom, to nom, the nom, guests. Nom, yeah, nom. right, or Cookie Monster. Yeah, more like Cookie Monster. Uh, can I? Do I count as a guest? Because then you not can anymore. have my bagel. Oh. No, not anymore. This is, these are for guests that he's trying to impress. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, no, he's not trying to impress me anymore. No, you you, you lost that during the when we were on the. Phase five. Mm. Yeah, you. you were, yeah, I'm sorry. Tough um, loss. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna dress up as William Wallace for Halloween and take out Longshanks. Well, we should make him dress as Longshanks. Yeah, yeah. We should. He should have to do that. I think that if you're only here for like a month or two, yeah. you have to do what anyone tells you. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Are that's you only planning on having him here for a month or two? Is that how much no, the bagels pissed you he's off? He's been here for a month oh. or two. I said you've only been here for a month or two. He's somebody, pledging collider. At yeah, this he's got to dress up as as Longshanks. We should take pledges. Uh, that's illegal. Uh, you can't do that anymore. Do well, that. We, well, we won't talk about it. Okay. No. We should just do it. So is JT is kind then? of a pledge. It doesn't even work here. Anymore. Yeah. 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 It's still that's a pledge. True. That kid, I love that kid. I really do. He I get to see him all the time. He's the best. Uh, yeah. Man, I miss him. I miss him so much. I wish yeah. that I could just have him sitting in the corner there yeah. because he's, he is, he really. Uh, God, his reaction time has gotten so bad. <laughs> uh, it's uh, un- oh, uh, it's oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? He just like. I don't know what he's doing in the booth, but... <laughs> I never know what he's doing! He's, he's comfortable. It's like, I'll be talking, and 45 seconds later, the camera will come on to me. <laughs> and I'm no longer talking. Like I saw a screenshot where he he's still good old JD. The spelling. Like Chris oh. Hayworth, or yeah. Hemsworth or something. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, 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 he hasn't lost. Uh, never stopped being JD. And we all and he's like, what, what? And yeah. it's like, Hemsworth. And he's like, it says Hemsworth. I'm like, what are you looking Hemworth. at? Hemworth, it Hem- said. Yeah. It said Hemworth. Yeah, he, 
I just, saw it's I, unbelievable. I saw a tweet, I think it was yesterday, where it was the worst grammar of all time, but I didn't have the heart to tell him, so I just liked the tweet. <laughs> <laughs> The best. Yes. I love how you're encouraging improper uh, grammar. Then. Yeah, you know yeah. what, JT? Uh, liked it, he's so a, I'm doing something right. You can't dislike the kid, though, because no. he's just awesome. He's the most lovable. Yeah, he's so lovable. Yeah, he, re- he really is, and he just loves movies. Yes. Like, more than anything in the world. Okay, but yeah. this, is, this is insane, because April the other day says he's never studied a day in his life. That's got to be a lie, right? He, he just mm-hmm. likes he, movies, and he retains knowledge in movies. I know, yeah. that, that, I know that that's actually not true, because I know that he, he actually, he's watched, he's watching matches, past matches, is studying. Is, yeah. Like, if you're watching other people, and you're watching, like, the old um, kind of, you know, things that they've been in, or seeing how they've done in the past, or catching up on stuff, that's studying. I know for a fact JT's done that. That stupid thing. That, that, has done that a lot of times. Here he is. Look at him. Look at those blues. Wow, look at those blues. Knew he had such blues. I know he yeah. does. I know. Look at that. You that's could... back in the day. Look at that. That's that's back when he was on, he was on the Afterbus TV yeah. team. Look at that. The uh, did I ever tell you my Vegas airport story with JT? No. no. So uh, the misses oh, and I, the misses and I are, are flying back from Pittsburgh, and there was like one direct flight from Pittsburgh to LA. <laughs> no, go back to the full post. Go back to the full post. <laughs> go, uh, yes. go ahead. Go ahead. So uh, we're in, so we fly Pittsburgh to Vegas, and then we're in like Vegas to Burbank or whatever, and we're in the airport, and there's this dude walking in front of me, got a backwards Adidas hat and a, and a backpack, and my wife goes, I think that's JTE, and I was like, there's no way that's JTE, I, it, it can't be, like, my, my life isn't that good right now, it can't be JTE, <laughs> so I just go, JTE! He doesn't turn around. Right. Shocking. So I'm like, oh, it's not JTE. She's like, I'm telling you, that's JTE, so I was like... JT, and he just turned around like something just had come <laughs> off in his ear. Like right? he, he heard it forty seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was the first one that got right, it. Right, right. The second one he heard on the plane. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> he just, he's just he's just sitting there and he starts like whipping his head around. Yeah. And then and it's like, sir, do you need a drink? And he's like, how did you know my name was JT? Sir, I didn't say anything. <laughs> What's in that go? <laughs> so so he turns around and of course he's wearing like a Patriots T-shirt or whatever, and he's like. Hey man, yeah. and it looked like he didn't recognize me for a second. I don't, probably didn't. I I totally what believe. What year are we that. talking? Yeah. This last, last week. This was last Christmas. Christian and I have a story. We, yeah. So yeah. we. This is early on in the JTE years. We were walking to a screening at the uh, at the ArcLight, uh-huh. and Riley, <laughs> Riley yeah. and I are walking across the street, and it is. I mean, it's packed with people, right? So we're walking across the street. He's coming around the other way, and he's got his headphones on, and he is he's as close to me as you are right now. Maybe okay. maybe closer. And Jay, Riley's about to say something. I go, don't say anything. I go, just look at him. Look right towards him. Let's see if he if he notices. And we're just going like this, staring. Right, walks right past us. Like <laughs> like there was nothing going on. Yeah. He just and, and he, he just and he was and we but he wasn't looking down on the ground. In his face. Yeah, straight. It, and this wasn't like a Cody really? Hall up him like you know I don't want to talk to you. Get I'm right, get out of right, my face. Right, this right, was right. this is a this is a JTE like. Straight up ignore. I'm thinking of unicorns and and things flying around and, and storm movies. An hour movies. later. Yeah, and right, and then he's was like, that? right, right, and he it was it was the best. It was so. Oh, I, I want to like the music that was playing in my head of what was going on. That's a good rock music. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So anyway, I love the kid. I I can't wait to have him on the show when uh, we can, if we can do it. Just because you know, yeah. I actually talked to him. He, he was in last week uh, watching one of the matches, and I said to him. Um, I said we want we need you on live. He's like I can probably Skype in, you know, right, the, right in the middle of probably when he's working. Yeah. So yeah. Le- less even less camera shots. Yeah. So anyway, um, the good old JT. So let's talk about some movie news. I know there's some shit going down, stuff that went down yesterday, some other things that are happening um, over the last you know 24 what, hours. Christian, I come in here every day. Yes. And what I, ask? I know we talk movie news. What do you need? But uh, no, no movie news has been broken yet about anything in the bad boys realm. And, no, uh, yeah. each day it gets but harder it, and harder to live. Isn't that better for you though? Because so the reason, sorry. I, well, the reason I ask you Brilliant. that though is to because this it's starting to turn into the crow, not as bad as the crow. But and what I mean by that is the crow has gone through so many like <sighs> hey, the fact the, that you compare bad boys to the crow. What I'm saying is production wise. No, I get the it. crow is like Norman Reedus is going to be in it. Jason Momoa is going to be in it. This person's going to be in it. That's going to have this one's directing it, and it just. Keeps falling. It's like at one point, leave it alone. No. Now, Bad Boys, they they announced Bad Boys three and four is coming out. Now, mm. now we're just going to do three. Oh, Joe Carnahan's going to do it. Oh, someone else is going to do it. Oh, and it's like, why is M- Michael Bay not want to direct this movie? Hmm. That should tell you something. Yeah. Also, yeah. so maybe even he even he doesn't want to do it. Man. So it's like you know what's don't, listen. Don't if, you want to get away if from at the end of my if at the end of my life, 
the only two movies in the franchise are Bad Boys and Bad Boys 2, and I will not recognize, as much as I like Gabrielle Union and everything that she does, I will not recognize this TV series as like a Bad Boys spin-off. Oh, is there a Bad Boys On thing? Fox or NBC is it already or something. On or coming it's out? coming out. Okay. It's like LA's Finest, I think is what oh, it's called. Oh, and she's, she's, a, she's a character from the show. She plays she's the also sister. in one episode of Friends, it's fine. She's amazing in that episode, too. <laughs> Uh, and it, it's her and Jessica Alba talking about Honest Tea and like her husband's underwear oh, company. See. And um, but if at the end of the day, if you know I, I'm I'm on my deathbed and they're like you know they never made another Bad Boys, I was like, well at least they went out on top. Yeah, and that's what I'm you saying. I, mean? I understand. I do. You know, up, I, girl? I just remembered something <laughs> before we get into the movie news. I just remembered something that I have to bring, and I don't remember who who wrote the comment, but so. Obviously, and I've talked about it a little bit, and I, I really went into depth. John Roca and I had a really great conversation on one on one. I mean, it was it was we went in depth. Um, it was honest. It was emotional. <laughs> there was a lot of stuff that he talked about, a lot of stuff that I talked about. It, it's on the channel now, and it's it's great. It was a, it was a really great talk, and I talked you know about my brother a little bit, mm -hmm. and so when I was going, obviously, it's it's one of the most painful things I've ever gone through in my entire life. Sure. Um, it, it, I don't wish the feeling on uh, on anyone, um, but I got a few laughs while I was while I was there. It was with my family, but I got one particular laugh, and and this person didn't even mean to do it. I was reading, <laughs> I was reading YouTube comments on on. Uh, oh God. Was, well, but this is this is I'm telling you, it's, it's hysterical. Like so, I I don't know what match it was. It was one whatever match came out when I was for the showdown when I was gone. And I just see this time code, and it goes, I don't know, two thirty six drinks nothing. And I'm like, what is that? So I click on it. <laughs> so it's me, and I have this blue cup, nothing in it. And I go, <laughs> <laughs> and they catch it on camera. They catch it on camera, <laughs> and it's like, and, and it's like, but the fact that you wrote drinks nothing, <laughs> and and he caught it, and I have this empty blue cup. There's, and I'm, it looks, I'm so. I'm like, I'm so deflated <laughs> that I wanted a sip of whatever the hell, probably LaCroix, whatever I'm drinking, and there's nothing in there, but the fact that it drinks nothing. And I was so sad when I read the comment, and I was laughing hysterically that, by the end of amazing. it. Oh, and it was, so whoever did that, even though maybe maybe you were just pointing it out, <laughs> you gave me a good laugh. Because so. usually when they throw in a time code, 99% of the time they point out something that you've done wrong. Yeah, right. yeah, that it's yeah. your fault well, that it was, you I did do something wrong, but it was funny. <laughs> it was funny. Drink, and it was your fault. It was. <laughs> drinks, nothing. drinks nothing. Well, it's Alex's fault. It should have been something. I honestly think that, that, you know, I come from a family uh, that is, in, you have Italian in your blood, and... and um, Jewish and Italian people are very, very similar. Very and, oh, yeah. and, uh, but the funeral time for a lot of families Fiery. is always different. But in my family, it becomes a laugh fest, right? right? It becomes who can top who, who can get, you know, everybody to laugh because it is a celebration of life, right? And I think that that laughing at a funeral is, is very important in celebrating the life and, and regardless. But uh, my <laughs> at my grandfather's funeral, I'm 12 years old, and my, and my uncle comes up to me and he goes, what do you think they do? when they fart in there. And he walked away from me. I'm 12 years old. I bought my grandfather's body in the casket. And he just peels off. And, I, and to this day, every time I think, or I'm at a funeral, every time I think about something and I'm sad, I think about you know, that, that moment. Yeah, I'm 12 moments. years old. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just certain moments that'll get you. But um, hey, oh you know, God. Cop, cop surf. Is he gone now? I heard no, him say yeah through the room. Hey, um, can you get before we at the eleven o'clock? Can you just make sure can Alex or somebody just print out a list of the um, of the summer movies so we can kind of reference them? Once yeah, we start? yeah. Cool. Alex, print out the fucking list. Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. Um, let's get the rest. Yeah. Let's get the rest right. of the um, of the news here. <laughs> yeah, what do you got? All right. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, Braveheart, we yes. were talking about Longshanks and all that. Uh, the the writer of that, Randall Wallace, Randall Wallace, just wrote a script called The King. It's about the Hawaiian King Kamehameha. Guess who's starring in it? The Rock. I know. The yeah. Rock. The Rock. This is breaking news from Deadline, and Robert Zemeckis is going to direct. Interesting. It. This him. is a. Great, I, I'm all in for this. And, and they're what saying, time? What time period here? Uh, I did. Were it's you guys yesterday? Man. I think it's like the eight, late 1800s. Were you 1800s. just yesterday talking about how The Rock has a new project announcing every single day? This Didn't is, you guys yeah. say that literally every, yesterday? Every single day we get something. Yeah. This one I think has a little bit more to it because he's been wanting to do it's a pa it's a it's passion, passion project, project for him. Right. He was talking about this on the Mummy Return set. Okay. Apparently. Mm. So uh, it was a bidding war Randall Wallace wrote it, which is he's a fantastic writer for yeah. well, epic go movies. To, can you bring up Randall Wallace's uh credits guys on and put it on the screen yeah. for IMDb? Uh, Ra oh, that's Randall, Randall Wallace. Did he write Bad Boys or Bad no, Boys? No, too? no, 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 but he's he did not. He's Soundtrack. done, a, he's done a lot of good ones. Um he's done I think he's done some pretty bad. I will tell you what. He, if it, somebody said to me, "Hey, that's what Randall Wallace looks 
looks like. If they, hey, what's this guy's name? Well, I look, Randall Wallace. So here we go. No, you guys had it. You had it. Go, yeah. go down. So Wait, what? That's writer. So oh, we were soldiers. Just, yeah, just, so we've got Bra- Can't help it. I love Pearl Harbor. Braveheart. I don't Dark Angel. It. Man in the Iron Mask. Not bad. Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Um, love, love Pearl Harbor. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Really? Yeah, I love we Pearl Harbor. We were soldiers. Titan Quest. Heaven is real. That's the last thing that he's. That's the last thing that, that he's I don't done. love that Pearl Harbor happened. I love that's right. I like he's doing the, the, the movie. The, movie <laughs> the problem with that movie. I know people don't like it. I like it. A lot. I'll tell you why I didn't like that movie because it was Pearl one, Harbor. Yeah, one of the best um, trailers. He directed. Wait, go back to director. Yeah, he directed Secretariat. He also directed Roca in We Were Soldiers. Really? No, he was. Ro- so, sorry, Roca was in Wind Talker. I don't know what Secretariat okay. is. Nice try, what is it's that? A, uh, the horse movie. Um, it's a, it's, it's a, a great. It's actually a very underrated movie. Diane Lane. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, but anyway, so, no. Pearl Harbor, by the way, Pearl Harbor. So here's the problem, with, the biggest problem with Pearl Harbor, of many. Um, the trailer is one of the best trailers I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. The Hans Zimmer score from Thin Red Line played inside of that, and it was not the actual event. You, uh, I, I, all right. It was Google, I'm all sorry. All right, all right. So, and then they did this, though. This is, this, that's my biggest problem. The, it's the... Brilliant love story. No, it's a horrendous is love story. It? It's a horrendous love story. That's the you problem. You guys are crazy. It's, it's so such a good movie. it's so dopey that dopey uh, love triangle, and it just yeah. I wanted to see. I was looking f- to see Saving Private Ryan. I, that's what I was looking to we see. We all were I know. another great movie. I remember great. watching Equally as Great. Yeah. So yeah. I've that's mentioned don't Equally as Great. No, 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 no. I will. No, 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 you'll be no. you'll be okay. with long shanks on the it's back. It's not actually yeah. Equally as Great, but yes. I like Pearl Harbor mo- more than ninety five percent of people. The, again, the movie, not the event. I hope yes. Dorian's never seen this movie. <laughs> so, so he's like, oh, Dorian hasn't seen this movie. Okay. The most true have, life World War Two story. Pearl Harbor. Uh, I remember going to see Pearl Harbor with my dad. I mentioned him on the show already today. And he walked out and he was like, Sleep in the hallway! <laughs> Screaming at Michael Beck. <laughs> hey, Affleck! Sleep in the hallway! <laughs> in the hallway. Yeah, we, so, we need your dad to talk to Michael Bay yeah. on some of his choices. Wow, maybe we could get him to call in and say it. Sleep in the hallway? My, yeah. my dad walked out and it was legitimately like somebody, he'd just gotten his dinner and he'd waited an hour for dinner and somebody Cold. came out and threw it out the window. Right. Well, yeah. And he was uh, so... Yes, it was false advertising. It was. It was mo- the trailer, if you go back and watch that trailer, the trailer the is... The sex inc- scene in the parachutes is the most absurd thing in the world. Pretty, pretty epic. In the par- They're like There's dancing in exactly the... Exactly I wanted the to have. The parachutes are white Oh my God, down. I can't even remember did that. You, did you guys hear what Trump did with Pearl Harbor this week? No. 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 Oh. When, no. when he was like, I remember... <laughs> He said, "I remember well, Pearl Harbor." You can pull it up. He was like, "I remember Pearl. Har- I remember when Pearl Harbor happened." Da, da, da. And he was not around. Not he was not. <laughs> maybe, maybe, eh, maybe, he the, maybe he meant the movie. Straight All right. up, All right. not alive. But let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bringing up the Pearl Harbor trailer. I mean, I, I don't. I can't watch this trailer. Yes, never mind. It's so good. There's a lot of kissing in it. There's so much good kissing. This is not the one though. This is not the trailer that I'm. There is the one. It's the one where they. It's the. Is that the one with the Hans Zimmer? Score, can you turn it up? I'm going to the war. No, it's not Just it. Make sure put a, back put a, put right. Pearl Harbor, Hans Zimmer. Pearl Harbor, it's yeah, Hans first Zimmer. first trailer. Yeah, it's first trailer. Josh yeah, Hartnett was a good looking dude. He's amazing, and Penny Dreadful is yeah. awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. I never watched that one. And I he's I a hottie. I don't know if that's a hottie. Yeah. Don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. All right. All right. So let's uh, let's move on. Let's go to some other stuff. Uh, what else you got? Yeah. Well, so, uh, so Randall Wallace is doing that movie with The Rock. Now, the thing was with The Rock, by the way, is that um, Skyscraper didn't do that well, right? Mm-hmm. Baywatch, not didn't so great. Well. Jumanji crushed. Yeah, Jumanji. He's screwing me Rampage. over so bad right now. He what? Because I, so this is the, cl- the classic bet that I... That that drinks, huh? Mike Kalinowski and I fight like to the death all the time because I say that, and same thing with Andrew Guy, he's on Mike's side. I say that The Rock is currently the biggest movie star, and they say it's Tom Cruise. And I think currently, I think it's The Rock, and they think it's Tom it's Cruise. Clearly, The Rock currently, I, but, but his movie, yeah. but Tom Cruise's movies keep doing well, and The Rock's movies keep bombing. But Tom not Cruise bombing. doesn't not do bombing. back to back to back. He, I know. Like, the, he the spends Rock. a year working yeah. on Mission I, Impossible. Yeah, so you guys are you guys are on I'm my agreement. team. I'm in agreement. I'm in agreement. The Rock right now is the biggest movie star. The, yeah, the, right now, not right of now. all time. Not of all time. No. It's Tom, because he's doing a movie every right. three months. Well, it's Tom he's Cruise, the biggest. and it's also because Tom Cruise's legacy is affecting look, their bo- opinion. Body of absolutely yes. body of work. He's the undisputed king, and Rock will never take that away from him. Right. But but Rock is doing so much right now. He's got to be careful because you know, listen be, yeah. to me. I love the Rock. He's selling him short, his himself short with the show Ballers on HBO. That show this thing? is a train wreck. Really, really. it is. I heard it was good. No, it's no? it's brutal. Okay. Why does this thing? It is, is it ever good? I watched the first season of Ballers, yeah. okay? And I was like, all right. 
I'm listening. This is ju- it was just like they took the ESPN 30 for 30 about athletes going broke and then they made a show about it, right? Okay. And they take all of these this NFL is it like this entourage, sports it, but with sports. But was but it, that's what it was that's trying, trying to make. Yeah. Yeah. And there's just there's not any the, the I feel like Entourage had heart and ballers there is no heart because these guys are all scumbags. Like right. there's nothing that you can hang your hat on this show. You want to hang your hat on the Rock and Rock Entourage Rock had like Entourage had e- they shut my microphone up. They didn't want to hear the, the cops who did not want to hear the Lacroix going into the mic. Um, but I can't uh, believe you're almost through two of them. That's th- it's, actually, it's what time is it? What do you mean? It's, it's almost eleven. Thirsty. It's ten forty-four. Like they'd be like drinking two sodas. He's hydrating, Roxy. Jesus, maybe it's just a lot of. Maybe you hydrate more. It's delicious. More. Yeah. See. What team are you on? That's I'm right. not on right. any team. You don't like I'm on okay. team hydration. How do you say that name, by the way? LaCroix. Yeah, he's going the French way. Um, but anyway, the, wow. the point the point is I want to see I want to see him do good movies. I still I liked Skyscraper. Me too. It, it, did it, you? I did. I did too. I, I, I would have liked to see a little bit more of a rated R um, Skyscraper, like to where because if you're going to embrace Die Hard, embrace Die Hard. It was right. funny and ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it was it was the movie I wanted to see him do when he's when he first. <laughs> San Andreas is pretty tough. Uh, <laughs> I like San Andreas too. The, I like that San, San Andreas. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, he's, you know, the thing. He's just got to make sure that he's just making the right because Baywatch was. Uh, that's that. Sh- this is I why I was con- legit confused by Baywatch because it seemed like they improved the whole movie. It's, it's awful. I mean, yeah. it's, it's got I didn't see it's, it. it's got awful. There's and not even a plot. It's really? god awful. And I the best thing to come out of Baywatch is that fucking thing yeah. over there um, because his hair is great. Uh, and that's not even part of the movie. It's a wig we found in the back. Um, the Baywatch movie uh, is <laughs> he's lucky. He is lucky. He is so likable and such a charismatic movie star because that sinks a lot of careers. That mm-hmm. movie. He just brushed it off, and then Jumanji comes out right afterwards. Mm-hmm. Jumanji like, hey, was so good. Look, it was so good, and it made dollars. I mean that movie. Crushed. I honestly think that w- is the most underrated movie of last year. I, I love that movie, in, dude. In a sense, where like really nobody really mentions movie. it in the conversation yeah. of the best movies of the year. I I can watch that movie again and again. And it he wasn't the best part of the movie. No, he. he but he just, was a part of a great ensemble cast. Yeah, he, yeah, he took you through it. And Jack I, Black just Jack Black tears, was great. just and, tears. The whole movie. And yeah, I, it was so, it was yeah. so funny. And I normally don't. I, I'm I'm a little tired of Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was great yeah, in that movie. He was that great. thing is like, my weakness is cake. <laughs> yeah. and I laughed so hard in that movie with that I line. Know. I loved that. Uh, I'm so weakness be cake. It, it was great. So I want I want to see what they do for the next uh, for the next one because they are doing part two. You know, do me a favor here, uh, Beardo. Whoever's t- type in Josh McCuga and do <laughs> images. Something I want to try to do. Dude, Josh McCuga, because we, we did this once on the Schmoes, but we just we weren't able to have a screen like this. Josh McCuga, see, so what comes up there? Let's. Because we this what is what is, is the one five do. pictures over oh yeah what is that oh my god what is that oh, that's your, what's that's that, my, that was a, that oh was a throwback god. to when I was fat in college wow did you get a, did you get a nose job no huh no no do so, you have a bigger nose there I like the jacket I, your that's face a felt just looks jacket it's it's a I, I can't a put together why your face looks so different because yeah. it's fat look at yeah, that so maybe so your nose looks skinnier because you're skinnier he does say throwback that's my first headshot that's like yeah you look like you'd be Adam Ray's brother in that there you look like a Josh yeah see. So yeah. what happened to his face since? He's not a Josh anymore. Who was, I don't know. And what about the one with the three people right up there? Who are those three characters? Uh, that's a podcast on Nerdist. Okay. It's Razzle Dangerously and a writer, Duncan Birnbaum. Okay, cool. Ooh, how good how was that? Was that a good show? Great show. Okay. It's called Things so We Learned. It was this, this is what I like. I want to do. I do want to do this for, we can make this like a full yeah. segment. And what's going on right over there with those group of people? That's us. That's us. Yeah, that's, group of, that, that was that, that, uh, that was at that Clippers oh, game. Oh, that's from the Clippers game, yeah. right? Was we went, we saw, was it the Clippers one or the wrestling? You didn't go to the wrestling. I didn't go to the wrestling. Who were they playing? Uh, it was Clippers. Uh, right. Cool. Cool. I forget. Right. Okay. I forget. I forget. Good so, yeah. all right. Now we are going to keep going into movie news. <laughs> let's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's let's, let's do that, you go. guys. Uh, go ahead. Let, let me get your your uh, take on this. Alec Baldwin. I've heard of him. Thomas Wayne in the Joker movie, and cool. they're describing him as a Donald Trump esque businessman in the eighties. I don't want to see him do an impression of Donald Trump. I've <laughs> seen now, enough of it. Now the 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 Trump we knew from the eighties, not President Trump now. But, so like but Gordon Gecko, equally Gekko. as tanned so, yes. as he is now. Yes, Gordon yeah. Gecko, like kind of uh, very. Raunchy That's how he's going to be Wayne. It's going to be Thomas Wayne. So they're really so, going to skew so, this, what, towards the side of the Joker's point of view here? Yeah. yeah. And I think they're making out him to be, uh, Alec Baldwin to be kind of like an antagonist almost. Uh, yeah. If he's going to be that kind of, I don't know. Tricky now Waters. So is this going to be Walking. the Jack Napier Joker? No, no, no. no, no. Yeah, they right? said they're going off. They're going off. 
They're going off into their own land. we have a DC News Royal um, Roxy. Yeah, so we, we've got Robert De Niro. We've got Zazie Beetz. We've got Joaquin Phoenix. We've now got Alec Baldwin and Todd Phillips. That's what we know about this project. They have also announced that this is going to be its own storyline. They're not following something specific. Uh, exactly what you said about him being mm. that Trump-esque, two-tan businessman. Right. Uh, I it, want more Gordon Gecko. The two-tan businessman. obviously we've, we've hey guys, seen from sure. SNL. Who's cool? uh, uh, that has something to say about this Alec Baldwin news. Sure. Oh. Go ahead, Thad. Hey, guys. Hey, uh, Thad. Why the hell are we doing Thomas Wayne again? Yeah. We, yeah. Th- th- yeah. I, can anyone explain? Uh, he's going to be like Donald Trump? Is uh, that what they're yeah. saying? No, now? they're saying yeah, Donald Trump. Like, like, like a like a like a when, like a shady businessman. Thad, yeah. when yes. you say again, do you mean uh, because because we've had we eight, ha- we've had Batman s- movies where we've seen Thomas Wayne die yeah. in all of them? Yeah, we we we, right. we saw we saw him in the original Tim Burton movie. We saw him a lot in Batman Begins. Yeah. But isn't that the he, equivalent of asking why we're doing any Batman oh, <laughs> character again? Couldn't agree more. I don't think or we, even uh, Joker we certainly movie. don't I mean, need another Joker movie. Why why paint? Thomas Wayne is a shady businessman. He's supposed to be. That, yeah, well, this is why I say they get into tricky waters here because mm-hmm. I think we that, have that, that going on at Gotham right now. Well, but that's but that's the thing is that if you you you're going to start to say, well, wait a minute, you're going to hear the audience say, well, wait a minute, that's not Wayne, that's Lex Luthor. Like, what are, what are you doing here? And I think yeah. that it just depends on how they tell the story because if you look at what Tim Burton did in '89, very <laughs> different from a lot of stuff that they had done in the comics before. And I today today. To me, that movie is dated. It's still an enjoyable watch, but it's a dated film. Um, but it, it popped back then, and it worked back then. De Niro, you don't agree? Mm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. But um, but what I will say, <laughs> what I will say is though, it, it worked, and it wasn't the complaints of the story back then. But I think that people are a lot more touchy now about staying specific to the lure, mm-hmm. um, which so, they are not going to do. They're not going to do. And I, but I think, but this is my point though. You have to do shit like this in these spin-off movies that don't connect to the canon because the other stuff that connects to the canon, the James Wan Aquaman and the one in the next one, Shazam. Wonder Woman, Shazam, Man of Steel 2, if they do it, you know, like that's where you have to stick into the Flash, th- Gotham City Saturn. That's right. That's the stuff that you have to stick into. This side these side movies, you should be able to play. So if Thomas Wayne is gonna be douchey in this version of it, then he's gonna be douchey. That's, that's where like, I think they need to do this and take yeah. a chance and Maybe we get like a, an Oscar nominated kind of movie. Yeah, with that's Phoenix. what they're looking for. I'm yeah. all for the ch- mm-hmm. for the chance yeah. and, and that 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 they're taking. Take a shot. Like see see. It just depends. You just it's it's risky. It's tricky. But you know it's if they can make it work. Because look look at the stuff Nolan did. No, and listen at this point. There's nothing to lose. I know that the studio would very disagree with me greatly on that one because there's so much money invested in this kind of stuff. But as far as the DC universe is, take some risks. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that I've seen, I, I go back and I watched, I've seen Justice League again twice now. And I I like it in point in points mm-hmm. more than I did before, but in other points I just don't. Can't do it. I can't yeah. do that. I like movie. Justice League more yeah. than most people, but okay. I I totally feel that. Oh, and that I, my my least favorite <laughs> they've put out is Man of Steel. I, I hate that. Thank you. I, I legitimately wait, wait, wait. think I thought that. I love Man of Steel. The, the, wait, what the, the, do you mean? Are you looking at me? I don't think Riley was listening to anything you just said. <laughs> well, I love Man of Steel. Exactly. You weren't listening to a thing that you said. Yeah, yeah. You didn't like Man of Steel. She hated he, it. I thought I had to on my team. Sorry, because wait, that was the biggest piece of crap I've ever seen. How how you're you're ever going to justify the, the scene with the dog would you is look, beyond would, me. Would you at least agree with that, Riley? Uh, I'm look, Somebody's telling me that it's not true. But wait, that Alec you? Baldwin, this is why I'm not listening, right. uh, that Alec Baldwin said that this isn't true. So oh. I'm trying to find I haven't right seen now. that. Yeah. I haven't seen him say that. I think somebody's trolling you. Yeah, I, this is the last time I listened to you in the chat. Buddy. I've tried oh, to. Oh, yeah. Uh, What's happened? Cops are just pulling it up on the, on the Twitter Thank you. box. Yeah. Let me state for the record that I have not been hired to play a role in Todd Phillips' Joker as some Donald Trump. Uh, okay. That so is not, not happening. Wow. Not right, wait, 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 wait. So take that down. As but, some huh. Donald he's, Trump. He's not saying he's not in the movie. movie he's saying yeah. he's right. not playing uh, some Donald Trump. Yeah. Donald Trump. Okay. Okay, good. All right, what, so again, what is that last word that I'm not uh, Man clever happening? Ma- <laughs> it's a, like a... a it's Manke? A, it's, I mean, he basically be playing... Is it pronounced like, like monkey? No, Monkey. Monkey. Yeah. Monkey? I don't know. Who knows? Oh, we'll Monkey. We'll figure it out some other time. All right, so <laughs> we now have, it is, eh, we've got a couple minutes left. Riley, anything else going in the news? Uh, Yeah, let me just. Uh, and I didn't go. realize you hated Man of Steel, Riley. Right? Yeah, I like, hate it so <laughs> much. You, I love you it. You straight up said that. Just I, I, I know. I'm, s- I'm sorry I wasn't listening. I, this I guy, agree. and I'm like, wait a minute. I, I'm like, yeah, like yeah, if yeah, that Roxy, really happened. I was like, thank you. I was 
<laughs> I you took be, it from me. I really couldn't quick. disagree with yeah. you more. I love Man of Steel. God, I think that's the worst movie that oh, they okay. ever Crazy put out. Person. Not ever put out, but so yeah. Monke, bless you, mm-hmm. Monke, <laughs> as it's pronounced, is an adjective. It's meaning having failed to become what one might have been oh. unfulfilled. So basically, like Thomas Wayne oh, okay. as a or or Donald Trump as a Thomas Wayne, vice versa. Kind Can of thing. you use it in another sentence? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> you gave it a shot. You, did. didn't, you didn't know I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking I appreciate that. Yeah. All right, one more story. And let's one more break. story. This is something that it, it's a little touchy, but a lot of people have been asking about uh-huh. us, and it's Ben Affleck going back into rehab. Ooh, yeah. baby. And it sucks because, at least my opinion, here, yeah. there are a lot of people that are like, Sad. Batman's in trouble. <laughs> Batman's in trouble. And it's like, How about the guy's you? life? Thank you. Thank you. Can you okay. get rid of this bullshit with well, Batman and, and he, tying it to him forever and just go, this man is in trouble? Can play devil's advocate yeah, for a second, well, though? Re- real quick, real quick. Yeah. 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 There's, there's, there's something I want to say about this because I think that this, this goes into what we do. Um, this goes into what anybody who puts themselves out there to be in the public, a public persona goes through. A lot of times people will look at someone that they think they know because they've seen them in movies and they think that that makes it okay to say things about them, whether they say some messed up stuff about their, oh, he's drinking again, he's so fucked up. And it's like, you don't have compassion as a human being. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The guy is a human, okay? He has made mistakes in his life. He has done things in his life that maybe we don't agree with some things. Maybe there's ways that, you know, maybe he had some demons that he, he... he had some demons he couldn't overcome. Um, Still does. And I don't know now if it's because in general I've, I felt this way. I felt that I feel it even more so now. Um, I've just been looking at the world a lot differently lately. And when I heard this story, to me, it's like it's it's good in that he's trying again. And it's also good that Jennifer Garner is helping him because Jennifer Garner, to me, this is the father of her children. This is she. You can you've heard again. I don't know the woman, but I've heard amazing stories about her, how she is a, as as a person, and she wants to help him. And I think that it is on us as humans to be sympathetic mm-hmm. and to say, you know, good luck to you. You know, get yourself together. I'm rooting for him as a father. You know? And so I think that before you comment about the fucking Batman movie or, or whatever it might be, think about the man as a man. Think about the man as a human being and think about that stuff. It's not just a personality and that you see. He's a, he's a father. He is a, he's, you know, he's someone's friend. And this may sound tough to say, but maybe the Batman role drove him, drove him to drink. Maybe that that fandom, maybe that whole thing of the Batman world. I think he had a lot more, but he was okay, doing yeah. he, he was doing that. I mean, I'm I'm sure I'm sure, sure maybe it maybe it lent maybe yeah. the the stress of it of getting himself having to do in shape the curtain pressure the people the comments. I'm sure it didn't you know he's but he's had the demons before he's 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 been you know he's had gambling problems he's had drinking problems you know and it's like. It's it's a thing that is not just easy to kick. Like it's a right. disease, man. Like there's there are things whether it's again we talked about it the other day with like. Cops are as far as like, you know, when, when he was talking about anger, right? Yeah. That's a thing that, you know, it shouldn't be, if someone has have an issue, you shouldn't poke at poke it. At you it. should, you should say, okay, you want to, you want to go, you want to take some time off, do your thing, work on it, do it. Same thing with him. The man's got a, pro- the man's got a problem. And like, if it's a drug problem, if it's uh, if it's whatever, uh, whatever it might be, people and, should be sympathetic. And it takes a special kind of individual to realize that you have a problem because there are a lot of people that don't realize they have a problem either until it's too late or they don't think it's a problem at all. And then it's clearly... Okay, I agree with you guys. I do. But, I mean, I don't know if there is a bigger Affleck fan out there. I'm obviously a Boston girl. Mm -hmm. Uh, Goodwill is my favorite movie of all time. I love him. I've seen every... uh, He's... I love him. Um, But I think that... Things that I'm learning more and more as I attempt to adult is that there can be two truths at once, um, and one thing doesn't negate the other, and you can wish him the best, and you can root for him, and you can not tweet mean things, and you can hope that he gets the help that he needs, and you can also be bummed about Batman at the same time. And you don't need to share that via social media, you piece of crap. How, how could you ruin my movie? Right. You can just think to yourself, huh, I loved him as Batman and I'm bummed that I don't get that. And you can also think, I'm really, really happy that he's getting the help that he right. needs. I think we're on and the same page. Yeah, yeah. but I, said, Roxy. it's just so, it's so crazy because people don't find a way to think both things right. pr- uh, appropriately. I think it's etiquette. It's a matter of etiquette. Look, and, and the last thing before we go to break here, I think it's very similar. Look at look at what's going on with both 
this is relating it to what we what we're doing, right? The Shire Wolves, mm-hmm. the Sh- Clark Wolf and Rachel Cushing. She broke my heart last night. Holy yeah. shit! Well, well, look, those two, I can tell you, are the hardest working people in, in the Shimona. They work so hard. They've been and and like it means a lot to them. They want wanted to be champions very very badly, and they pushed and they moved and they did everything that they could, and they t- played who was in front of them. That was the thing. The Shire Wolves played. If you're doing a search for them, just do Shire Wolves, Shmona. Um, and they and they were looking and they and they played everyone that was there. But because Sam Levine gave up the championships, like, well, they didn't earn it. They didn't earn it. They didn't do this, and that that gets on you know. But there's a thing though, and this is this is playing both sides here, right? Now I think that fans, because we treat the Shmona like a sport, the fans should be able to say like, if if Josh McCuga is playing Finstock, and I'm a Finstock fan, I should say. I'm rooting for Finstock. I don't. I'm, I'm not. I, I don't like Josh McCuga. I don't. I think that. Uh, I. I. I'm. I'm tired of his antics. I think I'm allowed to say that. I'm think like I don't like. I don't like where he's gone. To, I think you're allowed to say that as a fan. Okay. However, I think there's also a way that you can say things because I think it's okay to say like I don't. I think that they had an easy path to the title. You can say that. I don't agree with you. I think the Patriots had an easier road to the title than the Shirewolves did. I think the Shirewolves played three really tough matches and played everyone in front of them. But I think that, you know, Rachel was very outspoken about it. And then, you know, there was a friend of mine, which, you know, had said, well, the people who run the show should uh, should really, you know, monitor all this stuff. How, I can't monitor the Internet, man. I was it's like, I, I, you know, I, I try to do what I can and delete certain comments and talk to certain people and say and do stuff like this. But it, it goes back to the Ben Affleck thing. It's like there's a line. Just treat, right. There's, there's a, a line. line. Yeah. And if you're a person and you're a person of uh, – integrity character whatever don't or, cross that line or not even yeah, integrity but, character like decent like halfway decent sure. right it, i'm trying to hold people to a higher standard uh, if yeah you will. totally but i just don't even think you have to be that good of a person to just be decent i don't i don't think it like you get it if you're being a douche right you get yeah. it if you're saying something so awful there is a line and it's crossed all the time in Schmodown, on the internet. In general. In Everywhere. general. Yeah. That's it's, what I'm saying. Well, I, but the, you know when you're being an asshole. It's my initial point of because you don't know these people that you think you just you see them as characters. You don't see them as humans because the same people that are commenting, whether it's on a Shire Wolves match or whether it's on a Ben Affleck video, right? They meet them in person and they're asking for an autograph. They're not saying these things. I know that I've met people that have been douchey to me on the internet but when they've met me they wanted to take a picture mm-hmm. or they wanted to do this like that happened i called out a guy on twitter he said i just wanted to take your attention right and he's and like i'm so sorry better, there are better ways but anyway look listen so this is a great conversation so far we're going to go to break when we get back we're going to have jared haben on we're going to talk a little yeah. bit to him about some of the things going on in his world but we're also going to talk about our summer movies and i want to do the the images game the collider uh, the google images game with haben and everybody else in here yeah when we get back Collider fans, I'm Christian Harloff, and you see my stupid name in the background because that's my other show. It's one-on-one with me, Christian Harloff. What the hell is it? I just sit down and talk to people. I literally just sit down and talk to people about what the hell's going on in their lives and their careers, and it's a long-form interview show. Uh, Originally, it aired on Collider Video as far as the YouTube channel goes, but we moved it on over, and it's on the Collider Video Podcast, Collider Podcast, excuse me, on YouTube Go on over there if you want to see the video and to see the pretty faces that I'm talking to. Had some great guests over the past. Um, and we're going to have a lot more. And there's going to be people that you, maybe some celebrities or actors and actresses, producers, writers, all that stuff. But there's also a lot of the people that you know around here. I could have Copster on there. I could have Jeff Snyder, John Roca, Mark Riley, Roxy Stryer, whoever. And I'm going to find out more about them. Long form and also go to Apple Podcasts and check out the one-on-one feed with Christian Harloff. And not only is my show on there, Mark Riley, the Riley Roundtable, which is another sit-down, long-form interview show. That's also there. And when Steve Frosty Weintraub talks to Kevin Smith or George Takei, that's going to be on that podcast feed also. So if you're taking a long drive and you like those long-form interviews, pop on the one-on-one with Christian Harloff. Give it a rate, comment, do all that because it helps the show and it makes Podcast One go, hey, you know what? Those people should get ad money. 
Oh, hi guys, it's Perry here, and I am gonna tell you about The Witching Hour. It is the show that I host along with Collider.com's Haley Fouch. It is in podcast form on the Collider Factory feed, and we also have the video up and running every Tuesday for you right there on the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. We talk about everything horror. We're talking TV, movies, the newest releases. We talk about movies that are celebrating anniversaries. We've even talked about books. It's crazy. If it is scary, we are talking about it on The Witching Hour. We also have so many filmmaker interviews, really cool stuff. It's all coming your way every single Tuesday on The Witching Hour. Check it out. Collider Factory and the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. Ugh. Hey, Collider fans, John Roca here. Look that behind me. There it is, Collider Sports. That's right, that is happening right now. Uh, we started it a few couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. We've had some great programming on there already. For those of you that have already watched, thanks so much. we got so much coming down the pike. We're talking about NFL. We're going to talk about NBA. There's plans about NHL. Golf is in the equation now. And, of course, the Premier League show that I host with Jack Hind, that's been in motion for the last couple of weeks. And then an MMA show is on the way from Dennis Zhang, me and Jay Williams as well. For you might know him from uh, the After Schmo show. What is, what is that thing called? Afterthoughts. Afterthoughts. That's it. The Afterthoughts show. All those things are happening here at Collider. And look, we want to hear from you. So we want you to listen. We want you to watch. If you're a sports fan, even if you're not a sports fan, we might entertain you, teach you something new about a sport that you may not have known much about or maybe so deep into it that you wanted to learn even more about it. We've got you covered. You can do that. Follow us on iTunes and on YouTube. You can there watch all the shows uh, or listen to all the shows that you want and then leave us comments and rate uh, the shows as well and review them. And then let us know what other sports you want us to cover. Look, we're not touching rugby. I'll just tell you that right now that's as far out as we'll go uh, or cricket but uh, maybe in the future if we go collider worldwide that's certainly a possibility but for right now collider sports is there for you take a look at it take a watch and let us know what you think hey guys riley here and let me tell you about the riley roundtable that's right they gave riley his own podcast the riley roundtable is on its new home and that is one-on-one -on -one with christian harloff on the itunes feed for podcast one it drops every thursday the riley roundtable is a little bit about everything it's about movies and life life and movies and everything in between i like to have non special guests for discussions like justice league versus batman v superman for discussions about wine tasting for discussions about ufos and everything in between that's right the Riley Roundtable drops on Thursdays on the one-on-one -on -one with Christian Harloff podcast feed and later on Collider Video's own podcast video network. So check it out every Thursday, the Riley Roundtable. See you there. Austin Powers. Austin Powers has taken us back to Collider Live here. It is Wednesday, last show of the week. Already six episodes into Collider Live here, and Whoa. I know pretty crazy here. Christian Harloff here with Roxy Stryer, Josh McCuga is in the in the bull, in the bullpen, and, yes. and then we got uh, Mr. Mark Riley over there. But Hi. joining us today in Collider Live, um, who he's just tweeted out the link. Sorry, so, yeah. it's all right. It's all right. Don't mean to be rude and on my phone. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Strict no phone policy. Only yeah, but I asked him to tweet out the link. So uh, he, <laughs> and he's and he's doing that, and he has become a friend of mine, um, and he is a guy that knows his shit. And the funny thing is. We kind of ran in the same circles and didn't even. Re well, I I realized that he didn't. I don't think he realized that when we first met, Jared Haven, who I for the longest time. Hey, thanks, guys. Yeah, oh, the, yeah and the, for the longest time. Applause. I know, lo lo longest time I was calling you Jared Haybon, and I was like, that's not you never you never you never corrected. Well, me. it's really Haybin or Haybon. Hey Honestly, I've heard it pronounced both. It's technically Haybin, but hey all my life it's been Haybon. Right, and and you just you don't you never correct anybody because you're like that Tyrod nice and Tarod Taylor. No, yeah, he's like it's Tyrod, which right. I never even thought was a mispronunciation. I, I thought it was always Tyrod. Yeah, Tyrod yeah. Taylor. Yeah, well, I don't get it now. Jared is here. Jared's here to talk about. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna bring out. He's an avid movie guard. Again, if you've been watching the Schmodown, he's competed in the Schmodown a handful of times. Inner geekdom. In the inner geekdom, but he also, you know, he's just a, he's a movie fan. He's been on Movie Talk before, and uh -huh. he's been on the on Schmo. So he's gonna be he's gonna be on Clyde Life. Quite a few times. So Ooh. if you're, um, he's. Well, I love talking movies with this guy. We're gonna do that today. But there's other shit I want to talk to him about. We had brought up that Google Images thing with with Makuga, yes. um, and we're gonna do what we're gonna do is I want Riley. I want to get the audience involved. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up Google Images, right? And then we're gonna bring up each person inside of the uh, studio right now. And I want the audience. Oh no 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 no! What's that? You're gonna Google me? 
I'm gonna Google everybody. Oh yeah. God! Everybody's gonna Google. We're Wait, gonna. I'm Jesus. confused. How did you? Did you finish? How you I'm gonna ran tell in you. the same I'm gonna, circle? I'm gonna tell oh. you. I'm gonna tell you. But it's all what, coming. What I want to do first is I want to. I want to <laughs> have. Anxious I wanna, person. We're gonna bring up one person, and then that way, as we tell that story that you want to hear, the audience will be able to see the Google images of the people in the back, uh-huh. right? And then they get to pick. Uh, what we want to explain first. We're going to explain what happened in that story, what it was all about, the curiosity behind it. I feel like it. I'm in that, that card game where you put the card on your forehead and somebody, yeah. Yeah. you have to see if you're better than the person. And just everybody starts you. yelling yeah. at you at the same time. Right, let's, well, let, let's, take a vote, let's take a vote real quick <laughs> uh, because I'm going to tell the story because I have another story I want to tell first, but wh- while we let the audience in the background, Riley will check the comments. Roxy, who should we, in this room, who should we Google image first? Makuga. We just did, did Makuga. Well, oh, I thought we were doing it <laughs> Yeah, but again. I didn't see Makuga. We only all did like right, two seconds All right, so you want to do Makuga again. Oh, fine, Riley. We'll do Riley. Riley. Oh, okay. Makugs? I'll, I'll go Riley. Riley. Okay. Riley? All right. You're going to go with yourself? Oh, yeah, I'll vote I for I thought me. that I just got I mean, the I'll, only I'll vote. I'll go with the crowd. All right, Riley. So, Riley, so bring up Mark uh, Riley. It's uh, R-E-I. L-L-Y. Yeah, so let's go Mark Riley first. And Are you kidding? Back. You know what's always kind of interesting? Yeah, also, that's what I did. That's it. There's only one shot. Mark, just put Mark Riley uh, schmoes. No. Put Mark there Riley, it put, is. Put Mark Riley schmoes. It'll come. Oh up. yeah, there's a lot of Mark Riley. Yeah, it's a very common. Look, name. look at this. Look at this, look eyes. At this khaki blazer. All right, there you go. So now to go to let's go to yeah. Here we go. Okay, so let the audience. So the audience out there, go ahead and Google image uh, Mark Riley schmoes. Talk about which picture you want to talk about. Is that Alicia? About. Where is it? Well, let's, don't worry about it. Yes, don't worry about this. But that's not what we're oh, talking about yet. So let's see what they want to pick. But Roxy, to answer your previous question, so mm-hmm. Jared uh, and I, um, you know, because I was a producer on The Bachelor. Yeah, yeah. For like a, a hand, like I was a story producer on the post on the WWE. Oh well, yeah, yeah, way post WWE. Like uh, so when post, we first became friends, you were still working there. I was work. I started working there in two thousand. Really? Because we used to have to always meet. Two thousand what year? At that coffee bean in. Uh, Wait, two thousand what year? Two thousand Westwood. Yeah, two thousand nine was the first year. Was that Tristan Ryan? No, that was like two thousand. Was did you watch Tristan and Ryan? Yeah. Oh my God. That Are was, you kidding? Oh me? really? Yeah, Tristan I stopped and Ryan watching. Were like the first like two thousand three or something. I watched they the were first, way like, back there. Five seasons. Dude, um, Ryan looks like Clark Kent. Really? That's okay. why I met him and I was like, oh, he was the poem I'm going to be best friends with this right? guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, so, no, so this dreamy. was at my first, uh, Jake Pavelka, I think was the guy. Oh, name, you right? poor bastard. Yeah, yeah. So, Wait, um, related, uh, Pavelka's from Pittsburgh, I think. He might be. I swear. No, he was a pilot. Who no are one other no. ones? Who are <laughs> other ones you did? Oh shit! I mean, I'll t- we'll go over it. Okay. But 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 the the point is, I was there for a while. Um, we didn't we never crossed paths while mm-hmm. he was there. But I stopped. Work- I was working basically. I worked on Schmoes. Our first year. It's funny when you listen. You go back to the Schmoes No podcast and you listen to episodes with uh, Jeremy John, Steve Renazzisi, Serena Vincent. Those were all shot from the Bachelor offices. Mm-hmm. We we taped them all in the Bachelor's Wild. office. That's like, awesome. On the weekends with Catherine Reitman, we used to go there. Uh, Matt actually, when we became mm-hmm. certified on Rotten Tomatoes, the Katie Sackoff prank with Jeremy Johns happened at the Bachelor, See, bachelor e- office. Everybody shits on the Bachelor, and yet without the Bachelor. Schmoes maybe not have recorded the first couple episodes. Yeah, it's true. We, you know, we, who, had, we had good sound. Who in that shits episode. on the Bachelor? A lot of people do, but I mean, well, they, but you know, I come on here. They're like, ah, pretty boy. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I think you've proven yourself though to the fans. I think that when you first came on, they're like, oh, here's this fucking guy. But mm-hmm. the thing is, when so what happened? I did an episode of Movie Fights, and I was it was a Star Wars one, and I saw him sitting on the couch, and I my wife was the one who got me like when I started dating her. She still to this day like loves bachelor loves it and she and i had you know watched a couple times and then just randomly was working at warner brothers i walked in i was looking for a gig at the time and i I was working for this woman brooke carson and i was i was walking out and i said to her i said hey i'm looking for a job right now and you know anything she's like everyone will work in reality tv and i said yeah she'll give it a shot so she she hooked me up and and then i i got the gig but that's mm-hmm. when I started really developing schmoes. And so fast so, forward to but this. But you guys connected on Movie Fights. Movie Fights. Yeah. He's, he's there. He's one of the judges. And like I walked in. I was like, oh, yeah, because I knew him from my, my wife was watching Bachelor and uh, Bachelorette and uh, Bachelor in Paradise. And I was like, oh, that's the that's the one. Like Because he seemed like, and I told you this when I met you. I was like, because a lot of those people seem like horrendous people. Right, they don't seem a lot. They don't seem real. They don't seem really seem like they're putting on a show. A lot, yeah. There's a lot. not. There are a few on there that are not the highest quality. Let me say. And you, I was like, well, this dude actually looks like a legit dude. He looks like like a nice guy. And I was like, I was like, I hope he's not one of, because there's somebody now that looked like that and turned out to be the scumbag of the but millennium. You can't say oh, he's was? A, I'll say it. He's a, a little bit. Dick. What a douche. Did you see him on social media too? No, no, he's no, like no, a, hold, hold, he's hold a it, fucking asshole. I'm, I'm going into it. I'm going into Also, it. can I say that I'm so happy we get to swear? I was driving in and I heard yeah, yeah. you drop the F-bomb and I was like, Phew. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> I had such a potty this, mouth. This is the show for you, my man. I oh, love that Sinead believed that you weren't going to let her swear on the show yeah. as she's probably I opened up. I opened up with F-bombs. But but anyway, so I walk in and I was like, oh, I know that guy. That's Jared. And he goes, he's a Christian, schmoes. And I'm like, oh, he's a fan. Dude, I was 
so nervous to meet you. You have no idea. The only reason I flew, but so I was in LA the week prior, and that's when I was the first on Screen Junkies. I think that was TV maybe when, yeah when we did TV fights. For when them. you made Ashley hysterically cry because of the speed round where you went. Oh my in god! On her. I'm a very competitive there's a, person. There's a video of that. He made her ball. I didn't make her ball. She was like, she almost started crying, and I was like, oh shit! Oh, she didn't yeah. almost start crying. But Continue. to be fair, and I love Ashley. She cries pretty easy. Oh, very yeah. easy. Oh, yeah. And right. so I mean, I'll, obviously she's my fiance. I love her more right. than anybody in this in this world. But she is sometimes it's very difficult to talk to her because there will be times where like uh, we'll have like a, a conversation that fiancés right. have, and then all of a sudden you can like see it start. You feel and I'm like, it. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm in the <laughs> wrong like time bomb. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I know. I know. I know. It's the truth. Well, I saw it because you guys were on two seasons. So we were on two seasons of Bachelor in Paradise. Right, right, right. Yeah, so we were on two. Fucking lunatics. I know, After watching that show again, because I can't watch Bachelor and Bachelorette <clears throat> anymore. I just can't. I mean, I, my wife, my wife watches it all the time. I can't do it. Like I, I just because again, we're, like same thing when I was working at WWE, I, I get bored with it because it's the same shit over and over again. Bachelor in Paradise is a perfect train wreck. I mean, it really is. Paradise you know, is amazing. My problem with Paradise is, and I tried to walk some last night, is that. I like a lot of people, and I can't stand a lot of people. And the people that I can't stand always seem to be on Paradise. Yeah, like there's only a few Habens and Ashley Eyes. To but then there's that's my point. Well, that's and there's what, a that's bunch of train wrecks. Yes. and it's a bunch of terrible trash garbage people. There is, but it's also one of wrestling. the reasons why that does so well. Because here's here's the, here's the thing, and we'll talk about this fucking idiot, and we'll move on. Um, so I was going to tell the story as if I actually, you know, because I was going to transition, tell the story first, so people are like, well, I'm talking about I want to talk about <laughs> We're going to talk about movies, story, but this is. This is this is like everything we talk about here. This is the show, and because this this is about human behavior in general, right? So my I did catch some of the Bachelorette this season with my wife um, because the girl looked just like Clark Wolf. Clark, she is Clark Wolf. Just oh, like what's Becca. Her, what's Becca. her name? Yeah, Becca. She looked Becca Koof. Becca looks just like Clark Wolf. Mm-hmm. And as I was watching, I, I texted you. The you first did when episode. she was on when she was on the other uh, one. Wait, can you pull her up? Yeah, bring up Becca, uh, the Bachelor. She and she. So anyway, so I, I watched a little bit of it, and then there was this guy with this long hair. This guy Leo, right? And and he's got like this 1980s Fabio oh, hair. Like very Fabio esque. Yeah, he's got this hairdo, and look, look at her, like. That looks like Clark Wolf. There she is. Yeah. She's a totally. She looks like Clark Wolf. And this one looks more like Clark Wolf. Go to this one. Yeah. Sorry, I you can't, can't see. see what you're doing. Yeah, right right underneath now. the visual story one. Go underneath it. Right there. That one. Yeah. There you go. One, no, one over. One over. One over. One over. Yep. No. The one in the middle. Right. Right. There, there it is. There you go. That now that's I see, Clark Wolf. I see that a little yeah. more. Yeah. So anyway. So anyway. So um. So this guy. She's. And he's like honest and open. I was like, okay, you can see where this guy. He's got like this. He's trying to be like Jason Momoa, right? I'm like, all right. You know, I didn't see anything there. Cool and way, way. so I'm watching this Bachelor in Paradise, and then the real dude comes out. Leo, I, Leo, the yeah, real Leo. His name's name Leo, and he comes out, and he's and I turn to my wife, and this is before he just gets there, right? I go, this guy's a scumbag. And she goes, what What do you mean? How, how do you know that? And I go, I went to college with dudes like this. Mm-hmm. I go, Pull him up. I go, this dude is just looking to fuck all these girls. Is all he's trying yeah, to do. How could if you, you tell? Google Leo Bachelor or Bachelor in Paradise, will come up. I just had a feeling about him, right? I go, I, I, go, I, go, I, go I go, he's a, I go, he's a liar, and he's. And but he, why did you think he was cool the first time? Because the way they portrayed him, the way again from being a bachelor, the way that they edited him, you look at this fucking guy, and 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 so <laughs> and, and, I mean, look at him. Jesus. So, but but listen, what I'll tell you then he so he's on he's on, a bat? and he's on the show and he's and he <laughs> goes out with this girl and he because this 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 dude Joe where it seems like a guy that we'd hang out. Grocery store Joe, grocery yeah. Joe, dude, he, grocery store Joe is the man. He does. Yeah. He just seems like a guy you'd want to hang out with, similar to, to him, hey, right? Yeah. And so he's just a good dude. And this girl, I'll tell you what. What's this girl's name that he's dating? Kendall. She, oh, she, I got she, issues. I got issues with Kendall. I got issues. But uh, I don't blame you. I got some issues I, with wait, Kendall, Kendall going on Paradise. Wait, Kendall's dating Leo or grocery store Joe? Both. And that's Both. the whole point. She that's was Paradise. That's why it's so she, interesting. She, she was. So the problem was though. So then you know, and, and this guy's the guy. The guy's full of shit, right? So he's full of shit, and then. He goes and he gets back from this long date. It's amazing. What is this look? This Cobster. Is, this is I got the, your Halloween costume, buddy. This is what this guy goes and shops for bagel bites with. This <laughs> is what he fucking wears. Come on, on now. He looks so down to earth. Look at that. Yeah, you wouldn't want to grab a beer with that guy? He probably but, swings a 32, too. Yeah. Nobody shops for bagel bites. Bagel bites shop for you, Christian. That's right. That's they true. Are. Well, he does, and that's why. He's, he's hot. But that's why. Oh, but here we but, no, no, no. but, 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 here, but here's the point. But here's the point. That's the, all the women said when he walked in. But then they all turn on him because he was such a scumbag. Then. He's picking. F- he, he like he legit calls this woman full of shit in front of everybody, right? And then fucking throws a drink in Grocery Joe's face, right? 
Joe There's swears up. Altercation. But dude, Joe, dude, nobody Joe, throws a drink in another man. No man that's throws what a drink I'm saying. in another yeah. man. But dude, and, you know, he's a punk, and and yeah. you can tell because he's like a six foot three like stunt man. Right? Is Joe but big it, or no? No, he's nah, a normal, Joe's more like normal size dude. Man. Yeah, but he's from but, Chicago. He's a scrapper. But he, but, he, but he's like the nicest guy, and then he's just sticking up for his lady, and he stick, but he puts his hands up. And I told my wife, I'm like, oh look, he's putting his hands up. He's ready to scrap. My wife goes, you love this. You love this. And I'm like, because he's protecting this girl. But it's like, and then the next day. This girl, or I don't know what's the next day. It was right Kendall. beforehand. Kendall chooses like Leo. Uh, yeah, no, no, she kisses some other guy. She makes out with another guy. And jo- what guy? Venmo John, who oh, reminds Venmo me of John. Dennis. De- oh, he does. He, he does look like Dennis. Dennis. Yeah, he reminds me of Dennis. Um, Did he start Venmo or something? He was uh, one of the he, first ones in there. That's why she kissed him. Which is uh, so insane. And I'm and not sure why he was on the best. No, no yeah. he, I, here's the thing. I was doing a little bit of Google search when as soon as he said he did like technology for Venmo, he was part of like an early programming team, but he doesn't yeah. own anything in Venmo. No, but yeah, he, okay. He, and this is my, this is my overall problem with with Bachelor and 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 all the people that are on a lot of people that are on this show. This guy's going to be accepted into the circles, and he'll probably be back on Bachelor in Paradise again. Um, he'll probably wind up dating someone else from the show because he's this big. Ca- I don't know. You don't think Chad, so? well, let me, Chad let me, came and went, right? Well, exactly. Me, Chad me. came and went, and nobody really. I mean, actually, Chad. I've met a couple times. Bad Chad. He's actually really nice. That's the, is that the milk guy? Uh, uh, oh yeah, 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 milk. Yeah, 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 yeah. He told Chris Harrison to go fuck himself. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. This <laughs> but this guy, laundry. this guy's like going after previous contestants on Twitter. Like he's like, remember Amanda Stanton? Leo is Leo. Yeah, like he's de- like apparently because people are tweeting about him, obviously, and being like, right. this guy's a douchebag. And like he retweet, he like went after Tanner and was like, dude, I'll like if you want to fight, let me know. Like yeah. saying it on Twitter. <laughs> then apparently, like Amanda Stanton tweeted was like, Leo just DM me said like stop talking shit about me on Twitter or it'll come back to haunt you. Right. Like he's like Ooh. going after. Previous contestants. Yeah. You know who was a dickhead? I watched Juan Pablo. Oh, yeah. he, was a, he was a dickhead. He's yeah. okay. It's, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's but not I, okay. But anything. The other. But j- jumping away from from this turn. Fuck you, Chris yeah. Harrison. <laughs> the guy, the, you, you can just tell he's a rot, he's a rotten human. And I, yeah. I just I also don't like people. I just don't like people when they tweet out like stuff. He's like, like peace and love, and yet he's telling people he wants to fight them. He's throwing drinks. He's full. Yeah. Of, he's, he's full. I of hate shit. that. I, I mean, hate he's that. Full of shit. I How hate many that times do you read trolls on on Twitter and then you go on their bio and it's like God. God, love, laugh, yeah. like, yeah. I just want peace it's, on earth, and then they'll tweet at you and be like, you fucking and that, suck. And that's what this guy is, he's a troll. But but anyway, the other thing that I saw, you got to come on next Wednesday, by the way. Because well, it's next Wednesday. Well, it's well, the I'm day not, after your, it's the day after I know, your, I'm not going to be here. Town? Where are you going? You're going to do more publicity? I'm going to be on the East Coast. It's the yeah. day after oh, your what? It's the day after what? My so, engagement airs. It, yeah, Ooh. so they showed, so this is the thing that I didn't on know. On the TV? But this is what yeah. I want to talk about. I'll tell a quick story if you want. I do, I do. So the engagement happens. So you know, Jared and Ashley, they went to two seasons. Ashley was very much uh, in looking to pursue Jared. Mm-hmm. And Jared, uh, I, I think, I don't know if it was one or two, was kind of dating someone else, what happens in paradise. And then they became really good friends. And then out of nowhere, like, you know, yeah. from, at least for me, you know, behind the scenes, who knows yeah. what the hell was going on. They, I hear, because I'm working with him at this point. They're like, oh, now I'm engaged. And I saw this in the preview. What I didn't know is this character, uh, Kevin, mm-hmm. who was involved, this Canadian guy. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems like a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, he's, nice. he's fine. So he's Kevin, from Canada. And he's like, I didn't know. So Kevin and Ashley had something. Yeah. I didn't even know what the hell was going on. We got both. Who is he? He was on Paradise? So they did a show called Winter Games uh, that Ooh. Ashley went on. And then Hunger they kind of had a thing, pretty much. I mean, it's getting to that point. Now they have the show, The Proposal, where you get engaged to somebody Which after an lunacy. hour. It's lunacy. I'm yeah. telling you. Uh, Sounds so, like Roken. Oh, it's crazy. So now you get. Wait, what? No, Rob said Roke is. Roke is we, we, this whole, we, did this, we did this whole thing. Huh. Yeah. You guys need to watch Spouse House. I'll um, give you all the good tea. But, like, they have to show the proposal now where you get engaged to somebody after knowing them for an hour. Literally, filming is probably like four or five hours. Right. So you're getting down on one knee when you only saw this person for maybe two hours. Right. It's insanity. Stupid. I'm telling you, the next step is they're going to start killing each other on, on TV. It's like the purge. It's, it, or I'm, running it, man. I'm getting nervous. No, that's yeah. an actual show that's being there, pitched there, right there, now. There was, yeah. But yeah. but let's let's rewind. So this kid, So this guy. Kevin, because yes. he, because I see him and he, he he was at the thing and he gets pissed off and runs away. What they made out? Wait, they show him at the proposal. Oh. I mean, unless uh, it's bad well, editing. Well, it's kind of a, no. I mean, it's a long story. Like it was weird that they even announced our proposal when we went down to Paradise. We were trying. I was trying to hide it from Ashley, and then we ended up getting engaged on the show, and it was wonderful. And I remember thinking, okay, now we have to hide it for a couple months yeah. because it won't be aired till August. And then later that night, we got a text from a producer, being like, hey, GMA might have like a little tease of what is coming to yeah. Paradise, and we're like, okay, that's fine. And then the next morning, it was Blow like up. the pitch of me on one knee and I was like yeah no that's not a tease Little that's tea. me that's proposing <laughs> what, what, so here's what, a good tease well, let me ask you what, so you what, didn't have any say in that 
And saying what? That they showed that? No. I mean, oh, they, no. I have, he, he's got, he, once he's on the show, they own that channel. Yeah, they do whatever so, the fuck they want. Well, pretty much, like, long story short, so Ashley and I started dating off the show, and then what happened was... That's where I'm going with that. So tell me, what what changed? Because the last week, you and I sat down, and, yeah. we, and you did say, you said, she's one of my best friends. You just I That's exactly what you said yeah. to me. But there was no, I, at least at the time, didn't see any romantic uh, things happen. What changed? I mean, I'm a, I'm a creature of habit. I'm yeah. very stuck in my comfort zone. I mean, it took me 29 years to move out of Rhode Island into L.A., and and so I think for a while I was just trying to overcome my own demons. And I think a lot of guys and a lot of people can relate to that where like they over, try to overcome their own insecurities. And I think I was af- afraid of not only failure, but success. We don't have to really go into a therapy session here, mm-hmm. but it, um, well, that's what this show is. I think, and I think Ashley was somebody that I really cared for in a long time. And like, if you spent five minutes with me, even you, I remember saying on TV fights, you're like, you want to get in her pants. I'm like, no, it no, was so I, don't obvious. Know. Right. I don't want to. But like the thing about Ashley that's always scared me is that like, I've always been very, it's it's I think one of my best qualities and one of my worst qualities is that like I like to think that I'm humble mm-hmm. and I'm that way because I'm very insecure at times and I think with Ashley she's the complete antithesis of, antithesis of me which she's is not like, hold back she does not hold back no. she's confident she's going like like for me if I it's can a confirm rain- that I had I had lunch with them and you, like she will tell you exactly what's on oh, I love that about watch it. the yeah. Josh McCuga show today it's an incredible back and yeah. forth between and both she looks of them. like Ashley Mova. She does yeah, look, she does look like Ashley huh. Morgan. She's on the Josh McCougar show tonight. You should totally check that out. It's yeah. actually up right now. It's up right now. And so for me, like That's for hard. me, like the way I always describe it is like for me on a rainy day, I'm like, it's fine, it's raining, it's okay. Right. Like just maybe it's not the best day, but it's okay. With her, she's like, no. It's fucking sunny out. I'm moving these clouds personally, right. and I'm gonna make sure that it's a sunny day. Yeah, and like that's the difference between her and I. And for so long, I think I was really intimidated by that. And also, to be honest, like Ashley's never been the type of person I ever saw myself settling down with. Like right. I always envisioned my life like in Rhode Island, white picket fence, dog, like like a quiet wife, shy. Like that's just the type I've always been attracted to. Right. But I've always been wrong because that's the complete opposite of the person. It's never that worked end out. Up with it. Yeah. Never worked but out. You know with what's it. awesome about you is how like you really do own that. Like, oh, you, yeah. you're not sitting there being like, I was kind of right, but now I'm going to settle for this because no, this is what's I happening. Am, it's pretty cool. Like, it's cool because I've got the girl that I wanted. Yeah. But I was this close to losing her. And right. that's why a I'm couple very, times. A couple times. Yeah. And like, that's why I opened up so much about it because I tried to relay the message to other guys to be like, don't be afraid to dive in because I know where your hesitation is. And like, even like with Colton and Tia, like Colin, fucking dive in right. and date Tia because it might be the best decision you ever made. And I know you might be like, I'm, I'm not sure what's fan. going on, dude. I love Tia. Tia. And so um, is that the second anyway, girl with the tent. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So long story short, she's. Of course, it's a tale as old as time. She started dating someone else. I saw a glimpse into what my life looked like with Ashley, and I fucking that was it. I Lost got it. it scared the shit out of me, and so and like any great American, he took that Canadian <laughs> out the knees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and did so, you steal her away from the Canadian? No. Well, what happened was they were dating, and then like yeah. this is all on the story of us, the right, YouTube yeah, yeah, video yeah, that yeah, we yeah. released, and so we had a planned trip to St. Lucia. I was home for Christmas in Rhode Island. She started Winter Games was filmed in December, and so she was dating. I, I didn't know what was going on. I don't know if she was dating this guy. I heard rumors. Like, yeah. Ashley and I would talk get jealous? almost every day. All, yeah. yeah. And then I had to do some real soul searching and be like, okay, Jared, is this just jealousy? Because, you know, you've had, you, you, Ashley and you have been so close and now it's going to change? Or right. is this like, are these real feelings? And I had always known they were real feelings. And yeah. like you said, like anybody who spent five minutes with me, you're like, you're an idiot. I remember she came to a wedding with me last year. Oh, and like, oh, oh, oh. with my parents. Friend wedding date? Dude, oh, absolutely. And Ooh. she left. She came to Rhode Island. We you, all hung you, out. You were, great. you were playing with dynamite, man. Ooh. Dude, you can't and take like, someone to a friend wedding, especially someone who loves you that oh, much. Oh, well, like, yeah. it was like, it was like, she, it's a long story. Was there yeah, a wedding yeah. floor makeout? Long, no, no, makeout? no, dude, we no. hadn't kissed in two years. Right. We right. hadn't kissed in two, we were legitimately just friends. That's what people misconceal all the time. They can't keep off each other oh no well yeah. I, I got Wait. three years to make up for it so <laughs> i'm not in the scene so you probably have answered this question and i don't know no, if no. this is inappropriate so i'm just gonna ask it anyway because that's what i do but last i talked to her she was a virgin is that wow roxy going deep. yeah it might be a little too personal answer too, okay, <laughs> yeah okay no offense roxy's roxy's roxy going deep. i think she likes red is that oh, a good? I, uh, <laughs> I only say that on on air because she said it on air she on a did di- it was yeah. a big storyline for her um and but now that we're in a relationship, I think those questions are just behind us. Okay, totally. Um, and not, yeah. Sorry, Ashley. Not to bring up my show, but I totally forgot about that. Yeah. And during Rapid Fire. Oh, I remember. And I was like, and then after it's well, over. What did you ask during Rapid Fire? Well, and during Rapid Fire, I asked all those questions, and then the one question is, when you lost Virginia, was it good? And she just goes, ha. And, <laughs> and I think the people in the room that didn't know. Yeah. Including myself, were, thought it was like a funny story, and then she leaves, and Amanda's like, "You're an idiot. Right. <laughs> You're a big stupid 
daddy. That's not, that's not, okay. Dude, you were Sleep in the hallway. Sleep, Sleep in the hallway. hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it's so funny because as soon as as soon as we left, that was the first. She was like, she's like, did I look stupid to that question? I'm like, no, you didn't look. It was fine. It's it was great. everything yeah, was that's fine. Right now. Did you guys have conversations about it? Was it like? Oh, of course, we had many conversations yeah. about it over the past couple of years. Even just being her friend and, and yeah, being yeah. A, a support system of her, and then obviously now being in a relationship, conversations have changed. And uh, but long story short, we had a planned trip with uh, other alumni from the show, uh, Tanner and Jade, and they have a baby girl, Amy, and we went to St. Lucia for this vacation. And so I was in Rhode Island. I was I knew we were going together, and that was the first time I was going to see her. So I went there and then um, talked to her for a while, and then like just really kind of opened myself up and was like, listen, I've been harboring feelings for longer than you know, and like she I know away. this is horrible. Oh yeah, we had like a hour conversation wow. in the war. She started crying. I started crying. It was just like this really And she was weighted... seeing Kevin at this time, or no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she was yeah. seeing Kevin. Oh, we've all you know opened up about Does it. Kevin want to scrap? Oh no, we he's he's cool dude. He had I no mean, fucking shot. At whoever he is. Here's but, the thing too. They <laughs> both knew. I know what you're saying, but yeah. instead, but, but he's dating the girl at the time. He likes yeah. her, and then here comes the ex yeah. who yeah. comes in, and he's just like, dude, I want you back. And now Kevin's toast. And if I'm Kevin. I'm I'm I don't, I, would, I wouldn't blame yeah. him if he was pissed. But yeah. having said that. Two things with that. One, they both knew that it wasn't going anywhere. Okay. And like they enjoyed each other's company, but right. like from everything I understand, it wasn't. And he's got future. a new lady now. Anyway. He's got a new lady. And then secondly, he was dating my wife, and I knew it. Nice. I like. You know? I like. The, I like the moxie. And kid. like I knew that Take Kevin it. was because of me. Right. You know. And so I was trying to deal with all this, like trying to put aside, like not only my insecurities, but like my my guilt. Yeah. Because I'm like, this was all so my fault. So and so, so I told so her, and I told her how I felt. And then you know what's so funny. Three, I saw the next time I saw her at St. Lucia was here. Really? When we presented the award at oh, wow. um, the award at the Schmodown Awards. At the Schmodown Awards. Yeah, that was together. the first time I saw her since St. Lucia. Thank Wait, God. Since, since you per, Since I exposed per, my wow, feelings. Wow, so like, we, had the Lucia, we had the exclusive. Got the Very exclusive. Nice. Right, Nobody nice. knew it at the time. It's so Thanks funny. Thanks for telling us. You give it to the fucking bachelor. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, you know, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> and so it was so funny because we went to St. Lucia and I exposed, you know, I, we talked to her and then everybody knows this too, but like we had a moment because I, I told her how I felt and it was really good, but she was like, I'm going to continue dating this guy and I was like I think you should but I know that I'm not going anywhere because I want to see this through right and, and that then, was it it was in her head and that was that was it I yeah. maybe but so uh, what I did definitely. too and we, we've talked about it as well is like listen I knew that she was dating another guy and like I didn't know if they were exclusive or not if but she left for the airport and we hugged and she like squeezed my face and like smiled as if like you gotta be fucking kidding me like right. now now I'm dating someone else and you tell me but yeah. you could tell that she was kind of happy about it and so I was like you know I said something smarky like try not to think about me too much or some some dick comment right. like that right. yeah. and then she the walked inception. away you did the inception exactly Hans Zimmer scores playing in the background that was the end of it oh dude I, you know what's so spins. funny every time I land on a plane I have to listen to that score time it's just yeah time's the best yeah it's the best uh, but so then she walked away with her and her sister and then time I was, right now while he tells the story oh god <laughs> Uh, yeah. Talk about my dream come true. Yeah. Um, so her and her sister walked away to catch their flight. I had a later flight with Tanner and Jade. Yep. And then I would sit down and I was like, man, I should kiss her. I should kiss her. Because that was the one thing that I never did was that like showed that physical part of our relationship. The one thing that was missing. And like here was a moment when I exposed my feelings. And yes, she was dating someone else. But I know that I was meant to be with Ashley. And I know that here was the moment where like you don't second guess yourself. Don't be scared. It might not be the right thing to do. But you got to do it. You got to go kiss her. And so I sat down. This was all going through my head. All the mistakes that I've made in the past were all coming to a, a climax at this moment. And then all of a sudden Tanner was like, I think you should go kiss her. And I was like, I think so too. And then I got up and I walked down the stairs and I'm walking towards Ashley and I can see her about to board the plane. And so I walk, I'm like super nervous. I did like one of those stop and goes where I'm like, okay, you gotta just do it. Just do it, just jump in, do it. And so I walked up to her and I was like, hey Ashley, come here for a second. So I brought her behind the wall and then of course, like I was trying to make it as cinematic as possible because I knew that this was the moment. And so like I walked up to her and I was like, I forgot to give you something. And I kissed her. And did she kiss you back? Turn yes. <laughs> At first she like hesitated, but then she leaned in and kissed me. Was it and good? we had it was an amazing kiss. It was a great amazing. kiss. Good. Well, and there you then go. Uh, that's the story of a yeah. 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 Damn. Damn. Well, well look, so we got a hat and we got I have I have grown to really uh I didn't know Ashley from a hole in the wall until you started, you know so, well actually we were supposed to do I still this I don't want to give up what the idea was, Makuga, because uh it was a great idea that I still think we should have done a long time ago. Well, let's discuss after the show. No, no, no. It was something that she was She was actually she was on board. Uh, we talked oh, to her yeah. about it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We had this idea. It was something internally that we were going to do here. It would have, I think it would have been destroyed. our Destroyed. I think it would have destroyed. And mm -hmm. Ashley, Ashley was in. in. She was done. We were, she was supposed to be in it. But that's when we started talking first, and then she started coming on Schmodown. I want her on this show for sure. Oh, I want to have you guys yeah. on together. But 
Jared's also here not just to talk about this. We're going to talk about some other things to the the summer movies, of course. But um, le- I want to get Riley. Did, they, did those images came up? The Google images of yourself. Um, yeah. Which one do they want to know about? Uh, mostly, of course, uh, the why I'm drinking a huge wine glass with a brunette girl. <laughs> Where, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, well, there I you think go. I know oh. her. Oh. 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 Everyone, my fiance. Hey. Hottest oh, chick ever. Where, no, Riley, Riley where, where was that? Uh, this was Valentine's Day at a restaurant in Long Beach when we lived there. Riley, okay. do we say her uh-huh. first name or we don't say her Julie, first name? Yeah. Okay. Julie. Okay. Yeah, Julie. Julie's so, so hot. Yeah, yeah, she's she's okay. With and we now. talked about her on one of the episodes. Yeah. Too, and Julie is a, is a lovely woman. I love Julie. And so this was this was one of the... This is leading up. So It looks like yeah, Kuga's third uh, wheeling right now. This was... Uh, yeah, this was the most recent... No, no, no. It wasn't. Sorry. This was last right. year's uh, Valentine's Day. Yeah, you guys Day. been together so long. It kind of blends in together. Yeah, right. Well, there you go. So let's... All right. So let's do... I want to do one or do a couple more images here. Uh, let's who Ro- Roxy, who's next? Mm, Jared. Jared. All right. Uh, I get the only vote. Let's just pull up Jared. No, no. Jared. Jared. All right, Jared. All right, Jared Thank, it is. Thanks, man. Put in Jared Haven. Let's Google Tom Brady. Uh, I can always. Jared Haven. Is it so funny when you look up Google searches, what comes up, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what oh, I'm so, so fascinated I want to go to the one. I know which one I want oh, to go to. Oh, God. Not, not look at that those one. nips. <laughs> you, you want to go, go up. Yeah, you, got, you got a silver, silver. Uh, I can't even say it. What, go, chest hair? No, the, the nipples are like the size of big nickels. nickels. Oh. Go, back, go back up. Go back. Not that one. That's a bachelor promo. The one the one with the, the, the group picture towards the top to of the right. Oh, oh, I know yeah. which one you're talking about. There it is. Tell me this. So right there, we're looking at Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher, who you've gotten, people said you look like, and then your lovely fiance. Yes. Where is that? What What is that story all about? So this was last Thursday. We went to Clayton Kershaw's charity event at Dodger Stadium. It's a ping pong tournament. And so Ashley was playing... Uh, this we, last Thursday? Uh, last Thursday. Okay. So we went um, for iHeart and then we walked up and there was a big board of like, who's playing the ping pong tournament? We knew it was the celebrity challenge. So it was like, oh, cool. Like, who's going to be here? And we saw Matthew McConaughey and Brian Cranston. We're like, holy cool. shit. And then all of a sudden we looked in the bottom and we saw Ashton Kutcher and Milan Kunas and I literally mm-hmm. like took a step back and was like, Holy shit. Yeah. Because the thing that, so I always, always loved Ashton Kutcher, but when I was younger, a lot of people thought I looked like Michael Kelso. I had longer hair, like, you know, not right. to, Who you is know, Ashton I, Kutcher? <laughs> right. Yeah. Wait, who's that? Oh, Ashton Kutcher Michael is Kelso. Yeah, Kelso. Yeah, so Michael Kelso right. is that 70s. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, um, and then back in 2015, when I was first on Paradise, somebody came in and was like, oh, you kind of look like Ashton Kutcher, and it made air. Later that night, Ashton Kutcher tweeted a photo of him standing in front of the TV, and I was on the TV. Were you freaked? You were like, what? Oh, yeah. freaked out. And yeah. then it, the caption was, um, wondering why Mila is making me take this photo. Who is this guy, and who is Ashley I? Right. And Ashley called me, and it was like, fucking Ashley Kutcher just posted a picture of you. That's awesome. Dude, it was insane. And then it like it kind of not didn't go viral, but like there was articles written. One article on Us Weekly said, who's harder, Jared from Paradise or Ashley Kutcher? And it was obviously the dumbest article of all time, right. but still really fucking cool. Right. And so, well, so what was it like? Well, it's Kind of like that time uh, Ellis and I met Topher, Topher Grace, Grace at the to- at the Chipotle, and yeah. I was like, "Dude, you gotta say something." And they both had oh, side, yeah. side, they had side yeah. by side yeah. pictures yeah. holding each other back. Then he, yeah. he, was, he goofed around with it. But yeah. so, did you? Did you guys talk? Did you guys talk at all? Oh yeah, we talked a lot. So oh, then, okay. fast forward, he was on Rachel season. Rachel was a Bachelorette last year. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis were guests because oh, were they're they? big Bachelor fans. Oh, okay. And then on the show, Ashton Kutcher goes, "Yeah, I ever I started watch, uh, watching when that guy Jared was on the show that oh, people okay. said looked like me." And so fast forward to this year, we saw them. We're like, we have to say something. And Mila Kunis talked about Ashley and I earlier this year okay. when she was doing press tour for her movie That's coming tough. out. That's tough. Ashley, I, and Ashley. Yeah. Dude, I yeah. mess it up all the time. Yeah. I'm like, Ashley, I. Ashley and I. Right. Um, and so she was like, yeah, Ashley and Jared, where the hell did that come from? So fast forward, we knew we had to say something. We're eating cheeseburgers. We look over to our right. We see Ashley and Mila. We're like, fuck. Okay, we got to go up to him. We got to go up to him. So you walk so over So we there. walk up to him. Dude, I am super nervous because yeah. I'm like geeking out. I'm like, oh, God, I'm going to sound like a freaking idiot. So, of course, we turn around, and then there's Ashton and Mila. And Ashton looked at us, and then he goes, no way. <laughs> no way. Yes. In like the most Ashton Kutcher way. And yeah. I was like, well. Here we go. I could die happy man yeah, right now. That's cool. That's and then cool, Mila right. Kunis was like, group hug, guys, bring it in. And she's like, so happy, congratulations. And dude, they knew, and so we started talking. Yeah, everything, right? And then Ashton Kutcher was like, all right, who's better looking? Like, he was just like so <laughs> sweet. Chill. And like, the, great. the coolest thing was that like, they, I was afraid, I was nervous that we were going to walk up there like, oh yeah, you guys are maybe on that. Oh yes, I think I remember you guys. But they knew right away. No, they were like, Jared, legit, Ashley, oh, awesome. congratulations. Couldn't be more excited. You like know, they knew who so we cool. were. I talked to, you know, because I had Kurt with, I had Kurtwood Smith who played the dad on um, 70 Show on, on One on One. And he was in awe of Ashton Kutcher when he was working with him because of how smart you could tell that mm-hmm. he, smart, very smart dude, like mm-hmm. very ahead of the game in regards to just technology and things in general. And, and to hear Kurtwood Smith give that high 
high praise also. Come on, man. It's yeah. fucking uh, it's Clarence Potter yeah, no from, uh, from Robocop. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so that well, that's a cool story. Okay, so we got some good stories. We got drinking wine. We got the one. So it's either me or you. Who's you. next? Me. <laughs> I want to see. Uh, yeah. Do you have like headshots? I, I don't know. S- I don't know. I'll, yeah, probably, I'm probably grasping at straws. I probably. Let's see. So we'll have Roxy pick the one that you want to talk about. Oh, I can pick. All <laughs> there right. it is, right well, there. Like that one? Look, well, look at that well, go, that's, dance look at that stud. Go back. Go. That's on the wall of the comedy store. That one, no, right? Go, no, not that one. No, go, there's a more back, sultry one. Go back. To, not, will you stop? No, I can't. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> look when you guys are doing this. Very dramatic. They can't see all. Let Roxy see the images. What was the strangling one? I could only see it for a second. Roxy gets to see all the images. Oh. You want to scroll down if there's more. Grasping at straws right there. Go back. No, go back up quick. All right. Uh, this one right here. It's yeah. Okay. We'll do that one. That one. Which one's the grasping? That one. We want two over. Right, to the right. right. Okay. There. Stop. No. The one underneath. Oh, the, there you yeah, go. There that one. I just posted that actually. Yeah, what is this? Love. So when I when I left Silver Pictures, um, working for Joel Silver, I left to go produce my own television pilot, and it was um, it's actually on the Schmoes No Podcast channel. So if you're watching clips of this uh, show, you can find it. But it's a uh, Grass it's, great. it's really it's good. Yeah, the Collider Podcast Na- channel now. Ken What's Napster? It's right. It's a Collider Podcast Network. Thank you, Cops. And it is um it is it's got Ken Napsock in it, it's got uh Ellis, it's got myself, and it was about uh stand up comedians. And it was that's my brother. Um and so the, <coughs> anyway, so it's it's on there and we talked a lot about um That's Toad Hop. Yeah, that's it, Dane Cook. <laughs> Very nice. You're better looking than Dane Cook. Um, but anyway, better dude, but than that, not with yeah. But anyway, so is that the Josh McCuga show right there? Which one? Right there, Where are we right in front of the brick ball. Uh, Wait, I'm brick no. uh, well, no. Can I get your story? Oh, it looks like it. Grassman no, shows is a pilot that we did. Right. It, and it's it's eight episodes in the web series that you can find. Uh, all eight episodes. All eight episodes. Are uh, why don't I know what this is? You should it's awesome. watch it. It's, it's yeah, and people have been watching it too. I want to do a reboot of it. So your dog is in it. Can too. I be in it? Yeah, you can be in the Thanks, reboot. Thanks, man. Anyway, so that's it. So let's go now into. Um, we'll go into. Yeah, there you go. Grasp me and straws. There it is. So let's go into <laughs> the movies. Let's go into some. Sum- it was big. Yeah. Let's go into summer movies. We got some summer movies here that we can talk about, and um, I want to bring them all up and have the audience get involved. Let's talk about some of the summer movies that happened and what some of your favorite ones are. We'll get into them, whether we liked them, didn't like them, some of the f- ones that you want to talk about. Hashtag Collider Live. Throw it in the YouTube chat and take a look at some of these here, ladies and gentlemen, and let's, let's get into it. The first one that are we should... Are these all different? These are just from the, all the, the whole summer. Um, mm-hmm. you got August, you got June in there, too. There's oh, a lot yeah. of different movies in there that you can kind of talk about. So let's talk. Let's hear what the, I mean, the, yeah. Riley, the, the audience want us to th- start out with anything? I was going to talk I about Summer ones. Catch as my favorite one? summer movie. I don't even know what that is. Oh, this year, this year? No, 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 no. we got to talk Frank about that. Okay. Because I, I, I wanted a reboot of Summer Catch with Jared as a player, like the player that like has Chan at the Majors right. and now he's back. That and Freddie Prince Jr. Jr. is a coach. All right, I'm going to talk about a movie Whoa. that actually happened this don't summer. Don't you tease me with a good idea. Well, first for a second, I want to get. I want to start with the audience. Can we start with the audience? What like, it? They're better than I am, that's true. You're going to go next. What does the audience want to start with? You know what? A lot of solos. Okay. I'm not, and I want to. I'm going to bring that up Mine for the well. obvious reasons. Well, it's. I mean, it didn't start. This, and there were, a lot of people say, and this is the, the comment still to this. If you're a movie fan, and you say this. It drives me bananas, but it still happens every year. And yeah. it's just like May is not the summer. It is. Well, it's not officially the summer. June twenty second is the first I mean, day of summer. It, it, can we can we it, say in, that? But in the movie Infinity season, War that started the summer. <laughs> that started because everybody is. Uh, has I'm not, Infinity I'm not War, agreeing obviously. with them. I'm just saying technically. Dude, yeah. I might even like April's technically not summer, but like Fast and Furious sometimes comes out in April. Well, and, like, it's, it's, it's been the way that they've been doing it. It's like the, it's yeah. like the appetizer to the summer season. Now April is when is when Avengers came out. But remember, Ooh. Avengers was supposed to hold no, on. No, hold Supposed to come out May. Avengers supposed to come out May. No, on the chat, Ready Player One is not a summer movie. No, that came out tomorrow. Way, way too early. That, that does not count. <laughs> so we are gonna we're gonna start with um like I said, Avengers is 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 does count for the summer movie season. Yes. Solo is the one they want us to start with. Solo to me, and I, you know, to cover the same thing, it obviously was in box office very disappointing. The most disappointing Star Wars movie. When I said that on Jedi Council, oh boy, when it, when it, when I I made it a prediction, I said that that Solo would be the lowest opening of all time for a Star Wars movie and I said it would make the least amount of money of all time. I got crucified for that thing. But, um, but you know, you, fa- fast forward. I would uh, never I, doubt I anything that comes out of your mouth about Star Wars. But I was not rooting for it to do bad. That's that's not. That's no, the thing. Of it was not. just, it was the marketing, mm. it was the way the thing, it didn't shape out. And when you hear more information start to come out that the fact Lucasfilm really wanted to push this thing out into December, mm. 
Disney was adamant about it coming out in May, but yet still wouldn't gave them all the money they needed to do reshoots, but wouldn't give them the money to market it because they didn't want to cross over with Avengers. It was a disaster all the way through. It would have been a lot better if it would have come out in December. I'll tell you that right now. The movie's okay. It's it's fine. It's not a bad yeah. movie. I like I, I like the movie. I think it's fine, and I'm looking forward to watching it again on Blu-ray. Jared, how'd you feel about it? I mean, yeah, the movie is just fine, but that was the problem with marketing too. Like, I don't think anybody was excited about it. Nobody was asking for a solo movie, and so when it came out, people were like, "Yeah, I guess." And here's the thing: it got a lot of bad press even before it came out because yeah. they switched directors there was a lot of reshoots nobody yeah. really knew what was going on and then like you said like i think it's coming off the heels what six months after last jedi if that it's hard where yeah. it was like i mean last Jedi made a shit ton of money but it also it got divisive. mixed reviews yeah, yeah. very divisive so people i don't think are ready for another star wars movie i think that's the issue with a lot of like these um you know big film franchises right now yeah. is they're pushing out a lot of movies and like while yes Technically, Solo is not a part of the episodic of Star Wars. It's still a Star Wars movie. Like, to your regular, everyday audience goer, they're like, oh, another Star Wars movie? Yeah, yeah and that was Star Wars yeah. really wanting to do the MCU kind of thing, a shared universe. You saw the end of Solo. They yeah. introduced a character that could do that and follow that MCU. But MCU really took its time for that. It was, it was, yeah, it didn't take enough time. But, again, talking about the MCU, and then we we jump into – it's it was still right in the middle of a, a big, fiery push of Avengers, right? The totally. Avengers. I've seen that movie so many times. I like it more and more and more every time I like it. Infinity War? I, I loved Infinity War. Is it your favorite MCU movie? It is now. It, wow. It, it, it's really good. Winter, Winter Soldier used to be. Winter Soldier was uh -huh. my, and it, and it was up until about two weeks ago, still my favorite. I watched it again with my wife to see, and my wife, who is a casual fan, likes likes the MCU. Only ones she doesn't like are the Guardians movies. Other than that, she loves all the MCU. And she loved it. And just watching it and seeing it, and like, it's that what's going to happen next thing at the very end. It was it was ballsy, and I and I really enjoyed it. Makuga, would you? Were you Avengers: Infinity War? Fan? Oh, I loved it. Yeah, it was yeah. great. Um, I was a little disappointed that that running shot that is in every trailer and everything, where the Hulk is with all of them, doesn't actually exist. Yeah. I like the tease though. Yeah, I liked. I liked it. Pretty cool. It kinda, but it was a swerve for yeah, sure. It was a swerve. That's a bummer. Uh, I thought Infinity War. I've seen it probably three times now. I saw it twice in the theater, which is that's the first time I've done that yeah. with a movie in a long time because I feel like I needed to go back and, and see it again to because I don't know what they're going to do and I'm not going to read any of the comics I never have. So I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. But uh, what month was that? Vin that was Vin the end of May. April. Well, it was uh, supposed April to come out in May, seven. and they put it out at the end April. of April, yeah, yeah, yeah. which was just such a baller move. So I thought they were like, "Hey, by the way, it's going to come out a week earlier." Yeah, yeah. because they could. And yeah, if you're, and if you're, wa I mean, if you you watch it in April, and then you keep watching it until the end of May. It becomes a summer movie. Yeah, right. yeah. It is. Um, okay, so Riley, now what? Are, what else does the chat want us to talk about here? Uh, got, you know what? I'm seeing a lot of black clans. I have my list. I love yeah, and I love that that you're throwing it out there. Now again, when the movie came out, I was out of town, right? So I didn't have a chance to see the movie. I wanted to see it, but I want I I was going I, I was going to you didn't see either Riley? No, I, I haven't I, seen, I it seen it. Yet. Everybody missed it. I was gonna I go know. yesterday. It's so Roxy, I'm gonna it's go it's really good. good. I think let's hear it. Holy Cops shit. Cops are so why don't you why don't it's you so good. why don't you and Cops are talk about it? Hey Roxy. Hey Cops are how you like you doing, this man? movie? What did you guys like? Oh, Best Spike God. Lee movie in a while? Yeah, Cops are do you love it as much as I did? Uh, I it's one of my favorite movies this year. Wow. Uh, not just sure. the movie itself, but I mean there's there's a particular aspect about the movie that I don't even want to get into the specifics. Uh, and it just really, really punches you in the gut. Because the movie is played out pretty straight as a comedy and drama at the same time. It borders that line really well. Mm -hmm. But there's such a great message about this movie, and I think it's a very important one to see. And I'm not a huge Spike Lee fan, so when I saw it, I, I saw it because the trailer actually looked really good. I love Adam Driver. Uh, Denzel's love kid. I didn't I didn't know that was Denzel's kid until the very end, and it just it blew me away. It's a really good movie. Yeah, it, and you know, I thought what was really interesting about it, going into it, I had no idea this was going to be an aspect of it, but um, as as the resident Jew over here, like I had, <laughs> I had no idea how much that was going to play into it, and that was pretty amazing with um, Adam Driver's character. I, I thought it was incredible, and in that like f from scene to scene, I could pick it apart with why each moment was so beautiful and important to be in there, and horrifying, and yeah, they did such an amazing job with it, and you yeah. don't walk away feeling like. Oh, I, I hate. Oh, I hate life. You kind of walk away with like mixed feelings. Yes, yeah, I saw. I saw the. Uh, I saw the the footage of the real guy, and I really. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the movie. I was going to see it it's last so night. Good. You're going to like it, Christian. All right. So now, moving on, another movie that came out that I, I I didn't like it when I saw it in the theater. Wife watched it on Blu-ray the other day. Still think it's it's below average at best, maybe average. It's Life of the Party, the Melissa McCarthy thing. Mm -hmm. It's one of the better movies that her and Ben Falcone have done together, but still nothing. Too great. Um, Deadpool two, I thought was fine. 
Yeah, I, I agree with it. you. I liked it. I, I, just, I didn't love it. I liked it. I just said I loved the first I, one. I really liked it. Really? I liked it. I liked it, it a lot. I, I loved yeah, Deadpool. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, I, liked it I really well. liked it. I think I may like Deadpool two more than really. The first yeah, I, I'm it was wondering. Amazing. I agree. This, on the second viewing for me, okay. it started to get a lot better. All right, like, so I need like, to see it again for the first time. You only seen it once. I've only seen it once. I've only seen it once too. I do want to see it again. I like. I remember seeing. I liked it. I just. I think I was. so... You like Ant Man better? Second Ant Man? Um, no, I liked the first Ant Man better. No, did you like no, Ant Man the Wasp Deadpool better 2. than Deadpool Two? I think I did. Um, oh. Even though I didn't love Ant Man and the Wasp, I just think as far as I like the <clears throat> continuation of a story, I like the uh, in overall of what's happening because I think Deadpool Two there was some great stuff that happened in it, but I don't necessarily know. I mean, if I if a third one comes out. I definitely want to see it. Mm -hmm. I don't need one. I want to see what happens next at the end of, uh, after what, what goes yeah. down in the post-credits with Ant-Man. I need to know what happens. It's part right. of the story that I'm already invested in yep. in this long television story. So I loved in Ant-Man, the first Ant-Man, yeah. is in my top three Marvel Which movies. is great. You have to I wear a tutu love, because of it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I love Ant-Man. Uh, and I really enjoyed Ant-Man and the Wasp. But... And I, we've talked about this before. Yeah. The practicality in my brain as I watch these movies, as, as I get older, it's like you can't put a building that size on loose soil. <laughs> it will literally fall into the ground. Right. And like, that's where my stupid head goes. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think that yeah, I, I but, do that though too sometimes. But I enjoyed the movie a lot yeah. and I thought it was a great see, a great follow-up to Ant-Man and that is I love Paul Rudd and I love Evangelina Lee and Michael Douglas yeah. in those parts. I had my problems with the second Ant-Man because I thought I had the same problems that I had with the second Guardians is where I thought sometimes they went for the joke too much and not enough of the developing of the stories and I thought sometimes they, they actually went against a lot of the rules that they set up in the first one. Still enjoyed the movie very much. Yeah, I, I love agree. Yeah. The post I think some of the comedy overcompensates for the drama yeah. and like yeah. compromises it. Can yeah. we talk about a couple of the indies that yeah, came out please, that were go so ahead. good? Go Here are my top four indies of the summer because yeah. I absolutely love these. Not enough people saw my number one of the summer, not just indie in general, I think. Miseducation of Cameron Post. Did anybody see it? No, tell no. me about it. Grace Moretz. It was so fucking good yeah. but they're making what is like very similar to this with that guy that was in the movie with Casey Affleck about the ocean uh, what, what's, the, what's the kid's name he also was Manchester in, by the Sea yeah Manchester uh, uh, the, the redheaded kid oh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, he was also in that, Lady Bird that guy is in a movie that's gonna be bigger with the exact same storyline okay. uh, so I, this one just got like swept under the rug yeah. Chloe Grace Moretz is a star she is like Oscar bound for sure tell uh, me the name of it again Miseducation of Cameron Post okay. and it was Unbelievable. I have no idea why nobody's talking about it. It yeah. came out around the same, t a little bit after eighth grade, and it was in a similar vein. People yeah. like the eighth, eighth grade. Was yeah. Yeah. So eighth grade is yeah. also on my list. Eighth grade was amazing, but I yeah. thought this film was a little bit stronger. It was I also really good. Smaller movie also that I think is um, not talked about enough is Tully. Tully's, really, on my, Tully's, really, one, of my <laughs> Tully's one of my four. Tully's one of my four. I like that movie, Tully. That movie's wild. But yeah. I, I've heard it's great. Won. I want to rent that tonight. Jason Wright. Yeah. It's out there um, now. Uh, Charlie Theron. Charlie Theron in it and uh, Ron Livingston and it's that movie's weird it's weird it's but it's so a good, good but it's a good weird I, yeah. it's, 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 it's clever it's it's funny it's touching I like isn't it isn't it Diablo it. Cody uh, writing yes. it again yes. Yes. Um, yes. she wrote well, they have a, they, have a, they, they have that relationship her and yeah. uh, but, and uh, then my last one on here is Whitney did anybody see Whitney no, no. tell me about that one no. Whitney uh, the Whitney Houston uh, oh the doc, doc. Oh, yeah. Yeah. and okay. if you're a Whitney fan or even if you're not like you cannot watch this and not hysterically cry and just like it the music alone in it yeah. is so good. Well, that one's different well, than the Whitney Can I Be Me, the HBO documentary? I think so. It's almost the actual. Yeah, different. Yes, yeah, so because the docs have kind of made a strong. The other one is Won't You Be My Neighbor. Like, that's that yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen, that. but I hear yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, that's one, one of my that favorites. That one's going to win. That's going to okay. win the Oscar. I think. Um, really? Can I bring up one in the chat that everybody's talking about? Sure, sure, sure. My horror loving what do you got? self. Uh, Hereditary. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't see okay. that yet. I still haven't seen it. Oh, wait, no. Oh, he did see it. He made him think. They made him see it for Wangers. They took him Save of the wingers, yeah. Did you leave with the? <laughs> do, do, play the music while he's talking about it. Let's. So I want to have. Uh, oh, wait, but, but before you start talking about hereditary, okay, so I want to hear it. They're gonna. They're gonna just do some. Okay, go ahead, please. Oh God, that's so story. fucking good. <laughs> Guys, you got no, you got it. You got to tell the story. Come on. All right, so they made. Can we turn the lights off? The the wangers were cool enough to buy me a movie ticket and make me drive while they recorded me uh, to and from the theater. Uh, in, in Beardo's car, which the brakes don't work. It's very scary. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I got into the movie, and I, <laughs> and I forget that I'm that I'm going to see these movies. I'm like, oh, this would be fun. And then I'm like, wait a minute. No, I don't like this. This is terrible. This is a, uh, this is a... So I get in there. It and sounds about uplifting. 40 minutes into the movie, I turned to Beardo, and I'd already screamed. And there was only eight people in the theater. And I, I've been screaming already. Hey, Beardo, like what, did the what did the scream sound like? Do you know? 
<laughs> okay, good. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> this is me. They, they put a mic on me to that's actually it. To it. This is me during. Red that's Red. amazing. <laughs> so we're, we're we're leaving, and there are these two like teenage girls. They couldn't have been more than sixteen. We're walking out, and the one girl goes. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's really good. I did, you, Jared, Jared, did you like the film? I I uh-huh. liked it. I didn't I love it. Mixed things. I, uh, mixed things. I, I mean, it's uh, for like you said. You is did you find it cra- scary? Like for he you, find, he finds everything scary. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So it's a bad one, but like it's definitely a slow build. It's yeah. unsettling. It's, 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 it's very unsettling. It's, it's not scary, but it's uh, wait. Cops well, are, I find it scary. Cops, it, are you it's, saying it's, it's you, creepy. Cops, you loved it. Oh, I loved it. Hell, yeah. payment. That's that's what I gotta say. Yeah, hell, it. okay. It's just like yeah. And I understand where you're going with this, but I just felt like the last 30 minutes were great. Like, that was definitely the scariest yeah. part of the film. But, like, the ending is definitely... Shocking? Yeah. They were it's shocking. shocking. I want to see it, so don't, don't spoil but it. But almost... Yeah. I'm not spoiling it. All right. So that's why... I haven't I, seen it. But, like, it's How definitely a slow this? build. I it, missed a lot. This is a lot of shit going uh, on. And it's really a story of loss. It really is. Like, yeah. yes, it is a horror movie and a script movie, but it is a story of that's loss and how so a family had, deals well, we with it. we had Alex Wolf in here kind of talking about it and he did some other stuff, but... Well, look, there was some good stuff. There were some disappointing things. I liked Christopher Robin. I didn't love it. Um, <laughs> there was some. There was some duty. I thought uh, Jurassic World: Fallen Kill- Kingdom was duty. I thought. I mean, I know you I guys. Liked it. I know, duty. <laughs> I know you. I know you guys. I liked it. I know you guys are best friends here, uh, Jared. But um, uh, you know, the spy who dumped me, I thought was duty. And uh, um, yeah. and I but, I, but no I, comment. No comment. <laughs> and I will say that. Uh, but Jurassic World, jumping into Jurassic World, I thought the first half of the movie was great. Yeah, I really did. That opening scene, I'm like, all right. We're Dude, the I'm first like, 10 minutes, yeah. Yeah. I was, was like, holy cool. shit. We're back. And then they turned into this ridiculous sci-fi. Yeah. Uh, re- I know that the Jurassic World in general is sci-fi. I get it. <laughs> but I mean, like, it, it just went over the top sci-fi silly. It took a silly. Leap. Yeah, it, it really, really did. did. Yeah. Other great ones that we haven't talked about, which we've talked about to death on the show, but not right now. Mission Impossible was amazing. Yeah. Was it great? Incredibles 2. I, I, uh, yeah. I thought it was good. Which I thought I was thought really was... good. Uh, Crazy Rich Asians, which... Oh, oh yeah. That was, well, yeah, yeah was really Crazy Rich Asians yeah. was another one that... Do we lo- count blockers as summer, as April? No. Okay. Yeah, 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 that one came out. It's great. Are you kidding out. me? We talked about this. April is not summer. <laughs> you you said Mr. that Mr. if you watch yeah. it into yeah. May, it's the summer. Mr. 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 The internet. Mr. McCuga, where should she go? Cyber Lolly! Thank you. Um, Upgrade <laughs> is getting a lot of love here. Upgrade. Upgrade. What, Upgrade. what, year, did, what month did that go? Year? What month did uh, that come out? June. June, okay. I, th- I think, right? I don't know. I, don't yeah, know I have a lot to catch up on. I I'll missed that one. I know. Well, Beardo, Beardo, you loved Upgrade, right? came out in May. May May Beardo, you turn on your mic, Brian. Beardo no, did you? It was terrible. Oh, why? Why do you? Why you? What hate was it better, Roka's set at Comic Con or Upgrade? <laughs> 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 They're both garbage. <laughs> oh man, garbage we're, people. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get into that because at one point we're gonna Is that have me. No, Roka. Roka no, was. Oh, was that you? The garbage people. Garbage yeah. people. Roxy, stop yeah. saying That's that. That's definitely you. But when did Roxy. I say that? Well, I can't believe you, you called said them garbage that. people. Oh, well, Roxy. Roxy. Is there something we have? Roxy. Roxy. Now, don't be rude. Right, so let me. Ask, so let me. Ryan sat so, just unfollowed. Hey, Beard, already. Uh, so Roxy. <laughs> Roxy asked him, "What do you think about um, people that like wrestling?" Garbage people. Okay, what do you think about? Oh, what about? What about, what, what about people who watch The Bachelor? <laughs> Oh, come on, Roxy. I already told you I can't On fart. the air. It's yeah, just me to make Roxy fun of me. Over. Jesus. <laughs> all right, perfect. So, all right, we got a lot. I mean, there's a lot that we talked so about. Incred- oh, you got no. That. I'll tell you what my favorite summer movie right next to him in Infinity War is the Inc- Incredibles 2. Yes. Uh, yeah, I yeah. said all Incredibles 2. I liked it better than yeah, the first Incredibles, did. and I love the first Incredibles. Incredibles 2, I so loved. And I think it was also because I took my daughter to the premiere. We had a really nice night, and like she really enjoyed it. But watching that movie, I mean, it was emotional. It had a, it, I loved that film. Me I forgot too. how much I loved the film until I saw it. You know, Yeah, I loved it. How did until, you do the box until office? I mentioned it? It, Grace, it, it crushed. Really it crushed it. Crushed. Oh, okay. Can, can you guys bring that up as uh, the box office uh, for Incredibles Two? Worldwide, it's over a billion. Oh yeah, it 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 it, it, it it's it's domestic. It might even be it, like it, seven. You know what's sad? Oh, right. I thought it's, it's sad. None of us are mentioning Sicario because I thought that that was going to be one. Oh of yeah, it's look at that. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, like one point one billion. What did the first one make? Pocket yeah, let's see change. what the first one made. But one point one point one. No, the first one killed, didn't it? It did. But remember, the first one was two thousand four. Oh, gotcha. This is fourteen years later. Um, <laughs> the uh, the tag. I thought that was funny. I knew. Tag. Yes, tag. Yeah, awesome. little John Hamm. Tag, what, was tag oh, good? Yeah, tag. I don't know why this really is funny. my universal uh, sign of tagging. No, look, <laughs> first one only tag. Did, you're the, it, <laughs> Ro- Jared. The first one did 633 worldwide. The first wow. Yeah. Holy crap! Yeah. Well, I mean, you're like you said, 14 years ago. 14 years. It's at 14 years later, and the thing is, too. 
Come on, Peter. You don't give him the fucking drum? M- movie not worth no, your time. Not worth the drum Damsel yet. not right. worth your time. On Chessel Beach not worth your time. Yeah. Chessel Beach. What are we missing? They we missed me in the summertime old Chessel uh, Beach over here. Oh, uh, don't worry. You won't get far on foot. Not worth your He's, time. But Ry- oh. Riley, what, what else? Is there anything else they want us to talk about? Uh, or, or yeah, I'm looking. We, we've covered most of them. Yeah. Uh, Crazy Rich Asians. Oh, Ocean's yeah. 8. I've seen a lot of Ocean's 8. Yeah. I, I thought Ocean's 8 was... Oh, yeah. And, and Drew. What was it? Uh, Uncle Drew. It was, you know, I think Uncle Drew for what it was. For if you like those commercials. Commercials was was fun. Um, but did, did the, anybody actually see Gotti? No, no. no. Okay. But no, the other. Well, sorry, Ocean's Eight. Ocean's, Ocean's Eight to 8. me. Um, I thought it was fine. I enjoyed watching. I think you know what I haven't. I haven't been. I think when I, I tweeted something out about the summer, and I said, and and I, I take back in the fact that I think I said it was one of the worst summers in in uh, in recent memory because it, it's not. All the stuff that we're talking about, it's actually got decent movies. Just nothing. The only things that really blew me away that like the big blockbuster movies. Were the Avengers and uh, Incredibles too? I was actually reading an article. I think that you guys posted was uh, on Collider. dot com that I think ticket sales are up fourteen percent this summer than they were last year. Yeah, makes sense. Christian, I thought you loved Am I No. I liked it. I liked it. I I, I liked the f- the other two a lot better. The, Same. The, the previous two, I thought. Wow. I, I thought the action in this movie, the 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 most recent movie, was like maybe some of the best that they've done. I didn't think it was as clever as the previous two. I thought the previous two had a, had a much better. Um, this story one devices. focused way more on action than it did it actual did. plot. Story it did, and, and that's fine. Situation. And I thought that it, I thought they delivered on that. I thought it was a good. I thought it was the perfect was awesome. perfect definition of what you want from going to the theater. Though I'll say this: I though, agree. The yeah. first three don't even sniff how good the last three. No, no four, five, and six are. Yeah. Oh. Well, well, they did. Mission Impossible essentially did what Fast and Furious did. Yeah, and they they kind of they they spun it they, because Fast and Furious was essentially just a point break rip off, and then they said let's go over the top. I think it was number five that really started. Maybe four. No, Ghost Protocol. I think was the first one. That no, was no, no, for Fast was, and Furious. Oh, Fast, uh, Fast and Furious was number four. I think it was when they started to say this is what we're about to do, and then five was the one with the safe, and they kicked they kicked it into gear, and it just became it's almost become like a superhero movie, but they've been breaking that and they've kind of go, gone all in and I think really Mission Impossible 3 was like the new gateway to where J.J. J. Abrams said well we're going to get away from that John Woo thing because that, that was a fart bomb that could have mm. killed the entire franchise but it didn't J.J. J. kind of balanced it and then they took it from protocol on and then just it just elevated do we have revisionist history about Mission Impossible 2 though because you got to also put yourself back into the oh, time like of this movie. 2 it's my guilty pleasure it movie stinks. but, but you got, it does stink I'm not going to lie it's a guilty pleasure movie yeah. when I watch it now but Back in 2000, when like those movies were, it was made for the time, man. I'm telling you, that movie did really well at the box office. Yeah, because, because the first one was in Tom Cruise yeah, in 2000. You're right. It was it was the one that held the box office record for biggest opening until Fallout. I think right. back in 2000, people really dug that and that John Woo, that sure. slow motion. That was when Lots like the Matrix but slow what's, motion. What's, what's, bring up the Rotten Tomato score in that one. Oh, it's gonna be it's, shit. I mean, it's stoinks. Yeah. Also, it, it, I bet it's higher. I if I, I bet it's higher than what. Forty percent. Well, all right, let's take a guess. Don't look it. Don't look it. So, what do you say? Higher or over or under forty percent? On am I two? I'm gonna say over. You're gonna go over. 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 Yeah. Over. What? I'm gonna go under. All right, we're going. I'm gonna go under. No. Fifty-seven. All right, 57. Oh, I should have said fifty you know percent. You know what? Also, we haven't talked about is the the Netflix movies. Has it, have you guys been watching these? No. Which wow, ones? Wow, there's some have great ones. Have you seen ones. the Netflix? Set, set it up was really fun. The package oh, is like, about like trashy yeah. and wild, but oh, if you I hear like the that package kind of thing, funny. Uh, Kissing loved Booth it. was like the the trashiest there's worst so movie I've ever seen, them. and it's so good. And I haven't seen it yet, but I hear a uh, letter to those I loved right. behind. Is, oh, is yeah. Kissing Before Booth the Adam Devine one? Uh, yes. All right, let's work Look, we are we are a little bit over here, so what I want to do is let's hold. We'll bring back to we'll bring back some of this conversation on Monday. You're you're out of town all next week. Yeah. Out of town on this all right, week. you come back you come, when you're in town. You come back. Yeah, totally. All right, Jared Haben is here. Where can they find you on Twitter? You can find me at Haben underscore Jared. Okay, so make and that's both Instagram and Twitter. No, Instagram is at Jared Haben. When I created, I created after the show. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I was right. like, oh, I gotta have two different <laughs> handles, right? And then some. Oh God, look at those nips, it. baby. The chest hair, and the, the nips, and the fangs. Check him out. Check out Roxy, Josh Bakuga, Mark Riley, the whole damn crew. Check out the Wanger Show. Do everything that you can, and uh, we'll catch you on Monday. Hashtag Collide Alive. Get this shit twinning, motherfuckers. What's a twin? We'll figure it out. Twin. Yeah.